Hello everyone, I am Tacit and welcome to the Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout Livestream. So today, they added Sonic. <laughs> they somehow actually managed to add Sonic, which is pretty funny. Probably the biggest crossover this game has, though they have some pretty big ones still planned for the future as well. But uh, yeah, they literally got Sonic the Hedgehog in, which is pretty funny. Um, and uh, quite convenient because this is the last day that we actually have those racing stages. So we got to go fast on those. We'll probably do mostly the Gauntlet Showdown then, since uh, 14 hours, 53 minutes it switches. I believe it's switching into a slime minigame next, which is going to have uh, probably a lot of the Death Pit slime uh, zones. So it'll be pretty interesting to see how that one ends up panning out, because the finals for that one should be uh, Jump Showdown and Hexagon, which are pretty much the two best finals. So uh, that'll be pretty cool. Um, and uh, the maps leading up to it should be pretty decent too. This one wasn't as good. Uh, it's still decent, still it's slime climbing and a few other things. But um, the biggest issue is it had Fall Mountain as every final, and that is very annoying. <laughs> but still, nonetheless, the races leading up to it weren't that bad. So we'll probably mostly be doing that because we can't not do the racing stages of Sonic. Uh, obviously, we'll switch up here and there to the other ones, but uh, we'll start mostly in there and kind of go around and see how it goes from there. Yeah, I still can't believe they added a Sonic skin. That is just so strange. So ridiculously strange. But it works. It is a racing game, technically. So it does indeed work. ever load in. Loading times have been slightly longer now lately. Not by much though, but noticeably by several seconds. Also we got Night Fever, which is one of the newer ones as well. Unfortunately only two of the four new maps actually made it into the new cycle though. Um, and as far as the next one, I'm not sure if any of the new maps actually make it in, because none of them have a death pit if it is going to be like that. So having no death pits for that, um, yeah, you wouldn't have any <laughs> of that mechanic going on. Gosh, I wonder how many Sonics we're going to see today. Looks so funny from the back. I assume quite a few. Though it does cost 10 crowns, 5 per piece, so obviously some people might not be able to uh, end up getting it because of that. Okay, and we're through. Uh, good, we can get to jump there. Oh, it's not gonna matter though. Oh, it might. Oh, the guy kinda got in my way though. Ah, uh, we didn't get hit, kind of. Oh, I'm just gonna wait. Be patience. Oh, yeah, we should be fine. We're not gonna get first, but, uh, definitely made it. <gasps> no! Oh, I almost didn't make that jump. Now yeah, we're fine. Second place, technically third. We we're behind the other person there. We're gonna see like a billion and a half Sonics. So why is he wearing a yellow faceplate? Why would you not wear a white faceplate? That's like the only faceplate that works. That may be inverted faceplate. Gosh, I've already seen like eight Sonics in this lobby. And now everyone's trying to get crowns to go get the Sonic if they didn't already have enough on top of that. And the pineapple guy is just like, nope, I'm just going to fall off over and over again. He just goes right into the death pit. Come on, people. We need three more in there. I think one guy's already waiting at the finish line. Why do you need to make it? Okay, there's still one more person waiting at the finish line. Not sure what he's doing. Just go in already. Here we go. They always like delaying the inevitable. All right, down to 43, which uh, means we pretty much had a full lobby then when we went in, at least. It looks like a lot of people already left prior. Because whenever it has that big of an initial qualify, that means you had a pretty big number for the initial thing, like 60 to 55 or so, even bigger. Oh gosh, we got Seesaw. Seesaw's still horrible, hasn't changed. 
it's mostly too time consuming. However, the uh, mode that we get coming in tomorrow should not have it. It should actually have pretty much all optimal stages except for um, perfect match. That is the only non-optimal stage I believe it's going to have. Also, wow, there's a lot of Sonics in this lobby. That'd be funny if we get a, a final lobby that's literally just all Sonic. <laughs> or, you know, for the final stage. It's definitely possible. Because anyone in half a Sonic or full Sonic has some amount of crowns. But they could have gotten it from the past. They just overly bloated the amount of crowns are in the past this season. Which is rather unfortunate. Well, it's both fortunate and unfortunate. <laughs> it's unfortunate because now everyone can basically have legendary skins. But it's also fortunate because now everyone can have legendary skins. Because you don't actually have to win to get them anymore, technically. Because there's so many on the past. You could have, like, zero wins and have a full legendary set now. With the changes they made this season. Which, if nothing else, will help people get the costumes. But also devalues them in the sense that um, everyone has them now. Or has easy access to them. Did you just give me first? No. Aww. We don't really need to get first. Obviously, we needed a little bit more when we were trying to get uh, fame. However, uh, the only thing getting first does now is just a little bit more kudos, and obviously that doesn't mean too big of a difference. They add up a little bit, but there's not much to use it on. Though there is a very funny title coming, I believe, in three days after the Sonic is done, and that it says, um, Filthy Rich or something like that, and it costs like 100,000 kudos. Too bad it didn't make it a million, but who knows, maybe we'll add a millionaire uh, title eventually. <laughs> For one million kudos. Because even after 100,000, we're still going to have like 250,000 left. Or somewhere's around there. It'll barely dent. Oh, that reminds me. I didn't finish buying out the rest of my shop today. I only bought the Sonic. I didn't bother buying out the rest. We'll need to do that after this stage. Hopefully after our crown. Not sure how much we'll be wearing Sonic today. We're definitely going to be wearing it to some capacity, obviously. But I'm probably going to get tired of seeing a billion Sonics all my lobby. So we'll probably have to change to Dragon or something. Because there's going to be way too many Sonics. Like, one-third the lobby is still Sonic right now. Oh, that makes sense. It's the biggest crossover the game has had yet. And Smash got lucky with that, too. They had Minecraft uh, last night, or today, depending on how you look at it. I played it a little bit. We didn't stream at all, though. Minecraft Steve plays so weirdly. It's probably going to be super meta, though. Oh, good. We made it up. I don't really don't bother for the shortcut because shenanigans can happen. Like that one guy that went over to the side there and got killed. But, uh, seems safe enough and we got it. Uh, there we go. Hey, we got front run. Nice. How badly I want to go kill people on this stage. I think we'll refrain for right now. This is the first slime climb of the day. We don't have to kill everyone already. We're in such a front run, we might as well just claim the easy first for now. That depends. What obstacle is up there? If it's uh, Wrecking Ball, we definitely won't try killing. Uh, looks like... Ah, uh, Wrecking Ball. Fail. That's like the most annoying one to try killing on. Just because the, there's no, like, safe zone for you to stand to grab people. Hammers and uh, the other rods work so much better for trying to kill there. So let's take our easy first. Gotta go fast. I'm surprised they didn't add that as a title. That would have made a perfect title to add with this. But I don't think that's copyrighted. I don't know. Is that copyrighted by Sega? <laughs> Who knows? It might be. It seems like such a generic phrase to have copywritten though, but you never know. Any cool moves? Not quite sure what you mean by the question. Oh, do you mean on uh, Minecraft Steve? He has a lot of really complicated moves. Like, he plays, his play style is so different compared to anything else. He, like, creates blocks, he mines, he crafts. He has, like, a billion different, like, consumables that are based on his materials that he has. It is a drastically different character than anything currently already in Smash prior. So what's that guy doing? He's literally just standing there for his death. Not the pineapple, but the green guy behind him. Also, he's dead. Rip. Oh, that's the last one. Sonic, go in there already. There we go. Okay, 17. 
on Mario Elimination, which will probably be Wall Guys, and then we go to Final. Uh, the most likely thing to be here is Wall Guys or Fruit Shoots. Oh, you're talking about Sonic? No, they, they're all cosmetic. They don't have any special moves. Oh, wait, did I not switch to racing? We just got Block Party. Oops, I think I forgot to switch to Gauntlet. Because this can't occur in um, Gauntlet. Well, at least that means we can get a different final. But yeah, I meant to do the racing one. This is the last day that we get to do it. Oh, it's not too big a deal because <laughs> you get, like, guaranteed Fall Mountain at the end of it. Yeah, this isn't a racing one. Unless that's in the quick normal mode. A lot of the ones prior were all racing. Figured we get in our Fall Mountains because, uh... For the next week, we're probably not playing Fall Mountain ever again. Because if the next uh, week has um, Slime Climb and... Uh, or sorry, not Slime Climb. I mean, um, if the next week has um, Hexagon and Jump Showdown as the only two finals. That's like the only game mode we'll be doing. <laughs> is because those are the best two finals. And that alone, regardless of what the other stages are, is amazing. Because the final matters more than every other stage. It should make it so, like, every single one only has one different final or something. Or maybe two. Actually, next, the next one will probably actually be best because it has two different ones. And it has the best two as well, so that will work. I don't care for Jump Showdown as much with the changes that they made. And they're about to make changes to it again to kind of fix it a bit. But um, I have been getting better at the new format of it. We had, like, 80% on the old format of it. My win rate ha <coughs> has actually gone down, oddly enough. Mostly because the amount of grabbing has intensified drastically because to get it done in a timely manner you have to grab an anti-grab and that's risky sometimes because you got to move very weirdly to stay away from grabbers whenever you do grab you're at such a high advantage that, oh gosh we almost just fell who's trying to run into me we might die here we might actually die here okay we're fine hello Haley welcome we almost died on uh, Block Party. There's a lot of weird things that can happen on Block Party that can kill you if you're not careful. The only problem with how many got eliminated is we might not go to final here. It is 15, so it can go to Jump Showdown. It can go to pretty much every final, actually, <laughs> except for Tail Tag or uh, Royal Fumble, I mean. But uh, it's very unlikely to. It's probably going to go to one other round first. Oh, nope. Or we'll go to an ultra crowded Fall Mountain. That's unfortunate. Let's see, who's the quickest Sonic? <laughs> Half the lobby is Sonic right now. <laughs> oh gosh. There is so much Sonic. Where are we? I can't even tell where we are because there's just so much Sonic. We get so lucky with front row in this game. We get so much front row. And I'm so consistent at actually getting front run here regardless of where we start at the front. I'm not sure why. What we're doing differently than them. Maybe this is a camera angle shift that we do? Oh gosh, that one ball. <laughs> oh, what are these balls? How did we not fumble there? Okay, we got advantage. We do have advantage right now. It's good to see. Okay, we can take the side here because that side ball just went through. So we should be safe here. We can jump here, jump here, jump there. Make that cycle. Okay, I can't make this cycle. Let well, we can just go here and then I think that's our crown. Yep, that's ours. Easy. Easy first crown. <laughs> A magician with the Sonic. See, Sonic can fly now. He doesn't need tails. He can fly himself with magic. I also, I think that's the first time I showed that on stream. I don't think I've actually streamed since I finished the pass. We got that done on like the second day. But um, yeah, we have that. That's the final reward for this season. That little end thing. I feel like the Jack in the Box is a bit cooler, but I'm still just using that for now since it fits the season. Obviously works better for using Dragon or the Magician outfit or something else, but uh... Speaking of that, let me go buy these. I actually want to go set the Jester. This is one of the seasonal ones we got. It is pretty excited. <laughs> also, this looks pretty cool. This is an old thing, but uh, almost looks like a little dragon kind of Japanese kind of like wind thingy. And there's just a color we'll probably never use. Uh, there's a title we'll never use. There's a card we'll never use. The watermelon's pretty cool. Uh, I like the other scuba one more. And we got a flower. The flower's actually pretty cool. All right, there we go. We've bought now to shop. Let me go uh, change my one emote. Uh, I'm actually going to replace the bow, I think. Uh, where's the one we just got? Where's Jester? 
Buffy's a new jester. Oh, yeah, it's alphabetical order. Um, there it is, right? Nope. Where's Jester? There it is, Jester. Uh, we'll set this to um, over top the bell. I feel like I never need the bell, even though it's the final thing that you get emote-wise from the current season. It just doesn't seem useful. Oh, yeah, I did accidentally do the main show. We did a gauntlet. I guess this is the last day we get to do a gauntlet for at least a week, if not longer. So let's get some gauntlet in. These are all racing stages. So while we're using Sonic, we'll do Gauntlet a few times. Oh yeah, I forgot to go update my numbers. Uh, let me go do that. But while we're doing uh, Sonic, we'll definitely go make sure to use it. Uh, let's see. Final stages, one. Uh, crowns, three or two. And wins today is also at one. 100% win rate. Let's keep that up. Though, uh, if we're doing a bunch of Fall Mountain, it is like a coin flip on if we win or not. I think I have dead center 50% win rate on Fall Mountain. It is the most coin flip of any final in the entire game. And even with 15 people in the lobby, which is max capacity, we still managed to win. Although it does make it harder the more people there are, but we got a little lucky. Which is pretty much the entire stage. It's probably the most luck-based final out of any of them. And with the changes that they made to Jump Showdown, Jump Showdown is probably the second most luck-based one. Hexagon probably has the least amount of luck. Though you can still get attacked, which is not necessarily luck-based, but um, it's also somewhat luck-based. Like, it depends if you can break away from the crowd. If you can't, um, theoretically, there's luck in the sense of how many people will try attacking you. Because you got to get as much real estate as possible. And stay as high as possible. And if you're constantly on the floor with others, you get eaten too much by other people and lose all your tiles. Hello, GJ Ram! Welcome! Wait, how many Sonics do we have in this lobby? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's a count of eight. Let's see how many survive. Gotta go fast. Yeah, we did Gems of War earlier. Uh, we're doing Fall Guys now. And then we'll do Gems of War again tonight. Show me how many fake doors are here. But yeah, Gems of War got that new arena mode. Uh, it's not really worth grinding past the first cycle, though, which is rather unfortunate. However, it takes like three hours to do. We did like two and a half this morning, and the other like half an hour to an hour we'll be able to do tonight. With whatever else we do with the stream. But yeah, today's the last day for uh, the Fall Guys Gauntlet, the racing only mode. And then I believe it goes to the slime one, which will probably be my absolute favorite. Then the elimination one. I'm not sure which one is next. It's definitely not the show only one. There's actually going to be a game mode where only uh, game modes from the current show, this current season, will appear. However, I believe they're going to add another map or two before they do that. Because for one, there's no final in the new season. So they definitely have to at least add that. Also, there's nothing for like the mid-range for about... Um... Actually, no, I guess there kind of is. There actually is something for every category. So theoretically, they could actually release it if and only if they added a final. That'd be the bare minimum. Because with five stages, they actually could. Because Night Fever would cover the beginning area. Um, the uh, new Hoop one would cover everything from 30 down to like 10 or something. I forget exactly what it goes down to. But um, it actually has a max capacity of 30. It has a really wide range. Um, there's a team mini game. So the egg one would be the team mini game whenever it would occur. And then there's the... Um, what was the other one? There's one other one. Oh yeah, and Wall Guys covers the later end. Kind of like the tiptoe and... Um, and um fruit shoot kind of category of maps it's in the same kind of threshold not exactly the same but a very similar threshold to those and then the only thing's missing is a final so theoretically once they add a final we might get a mode where it's um where it's only the new season stuff which would also be really fun since we'd constantly get all the new season ones which are all the newest maps though it would cycle through the least amount of maps of any game mode if that is the case if they'd only add one more because that'd be five. And even if they added two, that'd still only be six. I do hope we get at least two new maps this season on top of the four we already got. We know for sure we're getting a new final. Um, it just isn't in yet. We don't know if we're getting more than that, though, this season. Gosh, she's trying to grab everyone. I'm actually a little bit behind right now. It doesn't really matter. We're still easily going to qualify. Unless I, like, drastically mess up, which I'm, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm sure trying to mess up here. Take a 
fast as Sonic would have grabbed if I really wanted to. Not worth it, though. We can't show that we're a grabber. 50%. Top 50. So I think we're technically slightly below. There's a weirdly really weird threshold that isn't exactly top 20 or top 50 whenever it shows it. Even though that's what it says. Because you can be higher than top 20. It still says top 20 or even slightly below and still says it. Same as top 50. You can be like top 60 and it still shows, depending on the threshold. Okay, we got wall guys. Wall guys actually occurs quite a bit in this game mode. When it's only races. Because I believe there's only two races that can happen in this category. Oh no, actually tiptoe too. Never mind. Actually, almost almost all of them can. It's kind of weird that this one actually shows up more. Because most of the ones in this category are races. Tiptoe is, uh, Fruit Shoot is, and this one is. All of which normally occur around this time, as far as the threshold is concerned. Also, Sonic is uh, increasing his uh, jump game. It's normally good for running, but apparently now he has to jump. Uh, I'm not sure where I want to go here. It looks like this tile will be our best bet, so I'm just going to move it over. <laughs> I moved it away from his jump. Oh, that was, that was uh, very malicious. Uh, I need that tile. I didn't realize this isn't high enough. We need one of those two big tiles. Someone move it, please. Thank you. Please move it closer. Over here, please. Come on. You can't reach that from here. Please move it over. Please move it over. Someone move it over. You can't make that jump. Oh, wait. Did he just get a, a head jump, though? Okay, I'm just moving this tile at this point. They're... I'm not sure what they're doing, but... We're just doing this. There we go. <laughs> and now the whole horde's gonna come and chase after us. Wait, you can make that from here. Apparently. Is this one higher than that other one? Apparently. Make it up. Oh gosh, this stage is so weird sometimes. Get up there. Okay, uh, can we get a good jump here? Not really. Because if I jump there, you can't really get a follow-up. Oh no! Yes, you can! Actually, right over there. Is that good enough? I'm not sure. I'm doing this. I think it's worth it. I think we can still qualify. We just need to get to this jump over here, which is going to be a really annoying one. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Good. That's why I waited. Be patient. Okay, I think we can make this jump from here. Good. Okay, we qualified. Barely, though. <laughs> Gosh, we were second to last qualify. <laughs> that was really tight, but we made it. I think I've only been eliminated on that stage like once or twice. I have been eliminated on every new stage at least once, though, now. Actually, have I been eliminated on hoops? I think I was. It was a really tight elimination of, like, five or six or something. And I just missed two gold rings. And then everyone else got the gold rings, and it's like, oops, uh, we're out of time. And then I couldn't get it. Well, besides for that one, we've been doing pretty consistent at, like, making first place on, uh, on the Hoopsie Legends the new hoops -a daisy version of the game. I think I have about a one-third first place win rate on that stage. Regardless of the number of people in lobby. Because the middle strategy is just so overpowered. Okay, uh, what path are we doing? Looks like we got a straight line over here. I'm not sure which side I trust more. I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> I really don't know which side I trust more, to be honest. I'm actually trusting right side more at this point so far in the only problem now is i believe the other side already found out the path okay someone needs to do risk it here risk it for the win okay that one's definitely not it i need these to shake we don't have enough info okay that helped us a little uh nope are we sure we haven't seen it shake yet okay yeah it is we got it. First place! <laughs> there we go. Alright, and that should go to a nine fall mountain final. We won our first one. Hopefully we can get the second one. We'll probably play the gauntlet a few times, then go back to normal mode and switch out of Sonic. I think we're going to be all sonic out initially. <laughs> we're going to see like a billion Sonics. Actually, did any Sonic other than me make it to final though? We had eight when this obviously started. Though they were all full Sonics. Okay, we have one half a Sonic in the lobby. And ourselves, of course. So of the eight, only two made it through. With nine people remaining. 
Alright, let's see if we can get another win on this place. Let's do that coin flip. Alright, so far so good. Oh no, that angle! It like hit off of him and then hit trajectory onto me. Okay, we're fine now. We can take Inner here. Oh, I was hoping he'd get hit by the thing. I'm gonna have to go for a grab. Uh, I can't go for it. I'm going for the Inner here. Ah, oh, he almost blocked me. No! He pushed me with his body and other side one. I would have gotten that if the other guy didn't push into me. Oh, what a fail. That was ours to win. If the other guy wasn't right next to us, we would have won. We have lost the coin flip. Aww. Always really unfortunate. There's so many weird things that can happen at the end of that stage. Like, even if you front run, that doesn't mean you won. <laughs> it just means you were happened to be up front for most amount of time. But that does not result in a win on that stage. It's a weird racing game where you can win the race and lose. It's very strange. But I have like dead center 50% win rate, so it kind of makes sense that we win won one and lost one. Which means of these next two, we'll win one of them and lose the other. That tends to be how it goes for uh, uh, Fall Mountain. And then we'll probably switch back to Dragon. Even if we're not Sonic, we're still going to see like a billion Sonics in every lobby. Let's see, we had eight at the start of the beginning one, or the other one. Let's see how many we have this time. I'm pretty sure on average we're going to see like 10 each time. Oh gosh, I need to sneeze. Ah, excuse me. Oh. Big sneeze. Alright, let's do a Sonic count. We'll count ourselves as well since we're technically still Sonic. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we got seven this time. One less than the previous lobby. I think I got a dragon in the lobby too. Feels not weird. It feels weird not having a dragon skin on. I've been wearing it so much this season. It's like the first time I've taken it off, almost. Oh gosh, my jump didn't jump. <laughs> I'm not sure why I did that. It's not too big a deal, though. Uh, we'll make this work. You know, I'm just going to play it normally. I'm not going for the shortcut. Oh, I was hoping that momentum boost would be enough to make it. Oh, it is. Barely. Nice. You can do a lot of weird things off that jump. I normally don't bother for it there. But you already hit the checkpoint, so you can risk it for some weird hits. I slightly did it there. I did a really safe method, though. Where I, like, pushed against the rod a little bit and then pushed forward. So it doesn't, like, shoot you very far. You have a lot more control over it. It's actually technically possible, I believe, to get hit from there all the way to the finish line. That was a very hard, near impossible shot to make that's extremely inconsistent. As far as getting hit from that tile to the next tile, it's pretty consistent. You just have to make sure you time it so it doesn't get hit by the bigger spinner in that middle tile. And we got Dizzy Heights. Probably one of the better per uh, earlier stages. Actually, Whirly Jig might actually be better overall. I like that Whirly Jig has a lot of high-risk, high-reward areas. Uh, this is mostly just execution. There isn't really much high-risk, high-reward anywhere here. 
It's more about just playing it correctly. Wow, we got perfect pattern. So we started in a perfect starting position, which is why. Also, left side was uh, better based on what we saw at the beginning. So we'll take the left. Gotta stick to the far left here. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh yeah, we got really good pattern over here. In this last tile, and those last two were the reason why we wanted to come over here. Yeah, that was really good left side. Gosh, this might be the quickest we've ever gotten a stage done. That was, like, near flawless. Probably not world record even close. Pretty sure uh, there's been some weird shenanigans. Well, one, you'd need Big E to steer that to get world record on the stage, probably. That's how much time that saves. But uh, that was really solid. <laughs> it was, like, zero mistakes. Probably the most perfect front run we ever had without a E to steer. How many Sonics are left? Only five. Well, we started with seven, so that's not too many eliminated. Oh gosh, fruit shoot. But 20 people, oh gosh. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I'm waiting. There's no way I'm jumping immediately. Unless we have front row. Yeah, I'm waiting. Let everyone go. I'm gonna move up here as if I'm jumping. But just to troll people. So I can do that. And then I jump. Now that's safe. Kind of. <laughs> kind of safe. Oh no, he hit my jump. I was gonna take that little shortcut there. But he ruined my jump. Okay, we should be safe in this position. Not the best position to be in, but it's decent. We're like second, third place on right side. Looks like third. Never mind, second, second place on our side. Not too bad for not jumping immediately. It was just a lot safer for qualifying. Like to me, which is why I didn't do it. Normally, in bigger crowds uh, on uh, fruit shoot, you don't want to jump immediately. Because you have a chance of getting disqualified by um, uh, other people just running into you. Okay, we got a tip two. We've been getting pretty good at tip two lately. We got first place on it the earlier when we got the stream. Hopefully we can do it again. Also, this should go to final. I believe it's 11 qualify. How many people are left? 10, yeah. And we have no team game, so it can't go 5-on-5 five five team game. So yeah, it has to go final after this. It will be a 10-person Fall Mountain final. Oh gosh, he might go all the way. He tried. <laughs> he risked it. it. Didn't pay off though. Okay, I think straight's the way to go. Uh, not pure straight, but uh, straight one tile. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, as far as where we move now, I have no clue. I know where a couple aren't though. I don't know where the path is. It can be over to the right. Um, I'm not even sure which way to go. I feel like uh, I feel like left is the way to go. I right, might get info soon. There, nope. Okay, back to the other side. It is over to the right. Okay, it's uh, one of these two. It should be straight right here. Yep. Okay. Goblin got it right before me because of his position. I did say it would be straight right there though. Before he moved. Oh, I got second. Couldn't snipe the first. If anything, it's kind of better doing that just in case we were wrong. Though it was pretty obvious that it was at that point. Okay, and we got one other Sonic into Fall Mountain. No, no, two. The other guy's a half Sonic. So we went from seven to three. Since we're a Sonic as well. Come on, we need Sonic energy. <laughs> Gotta get all the way up there first. Uh, where's our starting position? We're either all the way to the left or all the way to the right. I can't tell which one we are. Uh, we got no rods, but we do have all the hammers at top. Oh gosh, we got the worst position. We're not the worst, but the, uh, not as good one. Here's the other Sonic. 
We somehow still front run. I have no clue how we always get front run like that. It has to be something with how I angle it or something. Oh, no. That shouldn't have tripped us up. Oh, I might try for the super shortcut. Uh, I'm not going for I need to keep an eye on this Sonic so we can take him out. Or the ball will do it and hit me as well. Oh, gosh. We're so far behind now. Oh, gosh. We don't even win now. It's over. That other ball just killed us. It's over. It is super over now. Oh, we were actually somewhat close. <laughs> Too big of a herd there. If they all mashed into each other, that would have been ours. If all three of them would have mashed into each other, we were in a perfect jump right there to take it after. Unfortunately, one of them did actually get the grab. Dragon skin OP, yes. Dragon skin still very overpowered. We'll probably do one more on Sonic and then go back to normal mode. Do one more on Gauntlet. These are still going to get a billion Fall Mountains. And right now, we can't get anything but Fall Mountain for final stage if we keep doing Gauntlet. But we're not going to be seeing Fall Mountain for like another week. Because if the next um, if the next uh, mini game selection has no Fall Mountain in it, we're playing that like crazy. Especially if it's uh, all slime mini games and only uh, um, slime climb. Uh, not slime climb. And if only Hexagon and um, Jump Showdown are the only finals. We won't see Hexagon for an entire week. I mean, um, we, sorry, we won't see Fall Mountain for an entire week next week, if that's the case. Yeah, this will be the last one we'll do with Sonic skin for now, then. Then we'll go back to Dragon. Also, based on our win rate on Fall Mountain, we should win this one. Based on our normal statistics on Fall Mountain. It's not a guarantee, obviously, but... uh. Generally speaking, we hit about dead center 50% on it. But obviously, you can get trolled by RNG out of nowhere. But yeah, we got hit by two balls that time. The first ball didn't matter too much, but the second ball did ascend. Because we would have been with the other three people doing that jump if we were uh, didn't get hit by that second ball. <clears throat> okay, we got a gate crash here. <laughs> we could always wear a half Sonic and wear the Sonic bottom with a uh, dragon top. That wouldn't look that much like Sonic, though. Well, we would have his speedy boots. We could still use his speedy boots. Oh, but don't we don't then we don't have the tail wag of the uh, other thing though, if we do that. And Sonic's tail doesn't really wag, or at least not like the dragon's one does. I was like, gosh, how many Sonics do we have? Got a lot in this lobby. Completely surrounded. another dragon in this lobby too have been seeing an absurdly high amount of dragons though it is a five dollar lock skin currently once the um, pink and blue dragon comes into the game the amount of dragons will probably scale exponentially but yeah there's more knights in this lobby than there are dragons there's two knights one wizard and one dragon all from the same pack the knight skin seems to be more popular than the dragon it looks like Which, if nothing else, makes it more unique when we use dragon, I guess. I really want that other dragon outfit so we can wear half and half. So we can go a triple color dragon rather than a double color dragon. Because then we could do pink, blue, red or something. It'd obviously be better if it went blue, uh, pink, uh, and then red. But it goes pink, blue, then red. And the other way would be um, yellow, orange, or orange, red. Um, what's the other color? Orange, red, then it would go down to blue. If you did the other way. I should have dipped over to the right side. They're going to go quicker. 
Uh, I should have dipped to right. They're going to make the gate. I'm not going to be able to make the first gate cycle now. Oh, I barely got it. Nice. Never mind, I lied. I should have taken a hammer for a boost. Uh, too late. Oh, he sniped my first. I think that was second for us. He got the hammer boost. I missed every hammer boost that time. It doesn't matter that much, though. We qualified. But he stole my first. Yeah, he beat us by, like, half a millisecond because he got hammer boost. I missed, like, all three times I tried. I tried using his body at the end to push me forward, but he got more of a boost off it than I did. Oh gosh, fruit shoot again. Hello, Thomas. Yeah, they added Sonic. There's like a billion Sonics now. So we probably thinned out half of them. With what stage we're on right now. If I'll ever load. We still got four Sonics in the lobby though. Alright, this is very crowded again, so I'm gonna wait. Plus we're in the back anyway, so we're kind of already gonna have to wait. There we go. Success. Easy. Easy. Front run right side. Easy. Banana almost sniped us. Easy right side first. Not sure if we made overall first, so we'll find out in a second. I think we... Oh, nope. Right side. Uh, left side just got way luckier. We got fourth, even though we front ran uh, luck right side. It's a bit luck based. One side just does better than the other naturally. Just because of how the fruit uh, shoots. That's why it's called fruit shoot. <laughs> But front running one side is still good. One side never gets so much of a lead where front running one side would be an auto loss. Uh, you should always qualify if you front run a side. Even if your side does worse. Unless you just get ambushed so hard. <laughs> but that's very rare that that would happen. Unless everyone chose to take one side and you were on the one side that barely anyone took that did worse. There's no way of knowing at the beginning of the battle which side will do worse. There's not any indicator at all. I don't think there is. Maybe there's some kind of pattern with how the fruit initially shoots that kind of gives it away. But to my knowledge, there isn't any. Uh, I want to check this real quick just to know. Okay, it's fake. Just making sure. Oh, that was a fake. I could tell when the other one shook. Though it shook too late. <laughs> oh gosh, they already found the way. No, they didn't find the way. They're getting close to the way. But they're not all the way that went to the way. <gasps> no, I almost dropped there. Oh, okay. So now they connect with us. And now we gotta figure out where on earth we go from here. Okay, so over there is fake. Oh, it might be straight. Someone risk it. Someone risk it. Ah, double risk. It's not over there. Okay, it might be over here. Yep, right there. Aha. Uh -huh. A dragon made it into final. Nice. And we're still in Gauntlet right now, so this is Fall Mountain. Okay, let's go run the uh, coin flip. See if we get it this time. I vote for heads. <laughs> Actually, I vote on crown. <laughs> let's see if we get the coin flip. Hello, uh, oh well, monkey. Welcome. And also, hello, Isabel. Okay, uh, same strategy. Uh, we have no end hammer, so that's really good if we get front run. Because there's no weird bump that can happen that killed us the previous fall mountain. And it wasn't even us who hit the hammer, it was the other person who hit the hammer who hit into us. Are we front running? Yes, we're front running right side too, so perfect. That's where we want to be. Uh, I'm risking it, I think. Uh, I'm not risking it. Okay. Good. 
We can make this work. No, no, he made me hit it. No, wait, 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 my still. No, he, gosh, the uh, Peabody guy. He killed us. Not only did he hit us the first time, but he hit us the other time because he was so bad. <laughs> I hate when people being bad on this course kills you because he got hit there, which made us get hit. And then he got hit on the other hammer, which made us get hit when we did the dive. So he managed to hit us two times by getting hit himself. Which obviously made him lose, but it also made us lose. What a fail. We would have won that otherwise. Oh yeah, let's just try to getting not Fall Mountain now. <laughs> back to the main show. Also, let's go back to a normalish outfit. Uh, though I might keep the Sonic bottom for now. Go half Sonic. <laughs> I don't know, what does half Sonic look like if I did it? Let's see what happens if we went, uh... Uh, upper dragon. But well, we kept the uh, bottom Sonic. Where on earth is upper dragon? <laughs> that would look too weird. But we got our fast shoes. <laughs> I think we're just reverting back to dragon. We're going to see a billion Sonics in every lobby anyways. Uh, where's the bottom of dragon? Uh, where's the bottom of dragon? It's called golden dragon. It's not actually where the A's are. Uh, let me change our faceplate. Oh, so this was the one from the season, but I actually prefer using it with maroons. I got it the other day. It actually matches the red better. And our pattern and other things are already set correctly. Alright, let's go and do dragon. Need our dragon luck. And we'll do main show. That's probably the last gauntlet we're doing for now. It's not as good as a game mode as uh, some of the other ones that they might have. Because obviously we want ones where... Um, where we um, don't have Fall Mountain. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the Chubby Sonic is very adorable. He is quite adorable, but the dragon is a billion times better. Oh, we got to show off the Sonic. I never used the new emote. We got the new Jester emote today, too. We might need to do a round as Jester and use the emotes and spam it, uh, like, constantly. Because now that we can get team games and other stuff now. We'll, we'll get one in like a round or two where we'll be able to do it. Because if we get like a memory match or um, or any team game, we can spam it. Oh, maybe not any team game. There's some team games where you can't. X Scramble would be the best one for it. Or um, the other version of X Scramble. Yes, the, uh, the skins in this game definitely aren't balanced. <laughs> For how visually overpowered some of them are. They all have the same hitbox, though. They're all exactly the same. But visuals matter. <laughs> well, so how many Sonics do we have? Not counting ourselves, which is not Sonic anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Technically eight if we were Sonic. So that seems to be the average. We got uh, eight, then seven, and then seven and a half. <laughs> we only got seven, but uh, we're not Sonic. So technically, that's like the first round where we had eight. Since we're not Sonic now. So it seems to be the average seven. Seven Sonics per battle. And that might actually go up, because Sonic's going to be available for the next three days. And obviously, some people might not have the crowns right now. It does cost ten crowns, five crowns per piece. And while we have more than we could ever know what to do with... <laughs> That's obviously not the entire player base of the game. Oh, a new player didn't make it. No! You gotta dive and get timing better. He'll get it eventually. Oh, one of the Sonics didn't make it too. Yeah, I didn't think I would ever buy into the DLC packs in this game, but uh, the dragon is too good of a skin to not get. And it comes with the Paladin uh, Knight 2, pretty cool. Also, the um, the mage kind of looks like Rousey from uh, Undertale. I mean, from uh, Delta Rune. Not exactly. I hope the other color variant of it looks more like Rousey. The beard is the main thing that makes it not look like Rousey. <laughs> and the coloration's kind of off. Oh, good. We got Slime Climb. I'm going to be aggressive this time. This is probably a bad idea. <clears throat> but I want five kills. Five plus kills. Maybe we can even reach double digits. It's really hard to reach double digits, though. <clears throat> I normally do solo queue. We will eventually do a stream where we'll be doing groups and stuff. 
But uh, we always do solo queue personally. Just prefer it much more. There's still a lot of weird like lag issues when you do groups as well. Like when people disconnect and stuff like that from your group. It's about the same issue that Animal Crossing does actually. Or like someone disconnects and it like ruins everything. <coughs> they haven't fixed it for this game yet either. Oh yeah, I was gonna kill people. <laughs> I'm just like front running for first, and it's like, oh yeah, I was gonna kill people, wasn't I? Um, we'll wait to a different one. We're front running too hard to kill. We'll have plenty more slime climbs to stream to kill on. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. It's like, oh yeah, we're supposed to kill. We had boulders there anyways. Uh, I hate trying to kill on Wrecking Ball. It's so much easier to kill on, um, I think hammers is probably the easiest to kill on. Hammers and rods, but particularly hammers are probably the easiest kills. Well, we'll let the pigeon kill for us. Let's see how many kills the pigeon gets. So far, it's one. Uh, I can't see. Looks like two. I can't get the eyes of my pigeon. Uh, looks like he got about two or three kills. But he gave up at the end there. Didn't want to risk his own life. But yeah, I believe he has a two kill count. I wish there was a stage like this, but it actually kept track of what your kill count was. Imagine this, but you actually had to try securing kills. <laughs> Like a stage like this, but set up more like an obstacle course kind of thing, where you have to reach like certain objectives for points, but you also get points for like killing people. That with this physics would be insane. I don't think they'll ever add a mode like that because that'd be very weird to implement in this kind of game that it already is. But maybe as like a single standalone mini game or something, it would work very well. Instead of like a full show, it's just like a single mini game that you play. And it might not have a crown, but it could have like kudos or something as rewards. Though if it went long enough, you could have a crown as a reward. But they'd have to make the stage go for like 10 or 15 minutes, which might be too long. Though some finals already go for 5 minutes, the new jump showdown can tie in 5 minutes pretty commonly. So making a single mini game that lasts for like 10 or 15 isn't too much of an exaggeration compared to that. And just have it as a standalone thing. I highly doubt they would do that, though. But there's a lot of things they could do for mini games if they ever did. It's basically an alternative game mode with a single game. And whoever wins by the end gets the crown. The format of Hoops and Daisy would actually work pretty good for that, too. But more of a slime climb kind of elimination one would probably work. With like objectives on the map to reach for points. Because obviously you need incentive to keep moving around. Otherwise no one's gonna die. Oh, he revealed that that tile's real. Um, that's probably useful info because we can jump over here. And now we know this is real. And going straight's probably real. Yeah, it is. At least two tiles forward. It might be all the way, but we don't have info to know for sure. No, it's not. Um, I believe it's straight one over. So we go over and then move straight. Yep, that's it. I couldn't move there in time. But we knew that that was it. It's not risk trying to overly get first just to get past the herd, because they can kill you sometimes if you're not careful. TV. Oh no, I think I might have hiccups. Oh, how many did we have left? I wasn't even paying attention. Are we in final? No. Oh gosh, we got tail tagged in final. We had 11 left, which means there's five tails. That's bad. <laughs> What's even worse is this can go to another tail mini game for the final. It can go to actually any final in the game. Actually, I'm not sure if Hexagon can go down to five. I'm not sure if six is the lowest for Hexagon, but the other two can definitely go to five. Jump Showdown in the uh, and Fall Mountain. Oh gosh, don't give us Fall Mountain. <laughs> yeah, there should only be five tails with six people trying to get those tails, which means every tail is going to be extremely contested, as you can already tell. <laughs> the exchange rate of tails is going to be absurd this round. 
Because there's so many people fighting over so few tails. So every tail is so valuable. And it's pretty much already a base 20% win rate for final as well. So this is only going to be 5. Very thin final. Look at this. It's like... It's like we're playing Royal Fumble. This is pretty much Royal Fumble at this point. Just without a crown at the end. I haven't even been able to do any jumps because I keep getting attacked within seconds. Hello. I'd like to not get hit. How on earth am I still stumbling? That was like the longest stumble I've ever seen. We might not qualify. Okay, I think we got him. Oh gosh, the Sonic doesn't have it. I'm just gonna have to go for it. There's no one over here. Oh gosh, now there is. <laughs> oh no! I'm surrounded! <laughs> no, this guy is so vicious! Yes. Please. Just go a straight line. I think we're safe. I think we're safe. Yeah! <laughs> we got him! He was attacking us so much that battle. We got him, though. Good fight. Okay, right, now that we had our mock Royal Fumble, are we gonna have Royal Fumble for real now? <laughs> I hate Royal Fumble. It's possible with five. That's well, not guaranteed. I believe every final is possible with five. Oh gosh, we got Fall Mountain. Though, five people Fall Mountain is the fairest Fall Mountain you can ever get because everyone's on front row. However, we have not gotten a single final to stream that isn't Fall Mountain. <laughs> it's mostly because we were doing uh, the other game mode. Yeah, let's go get our fall. Hey, two Sonics actually made it too. Three if we count ourselves, but we're not Sonic right now. We switched out of him. Okay, once again, we have front run right side, like, every single time. But that can change. Should I risk the... No. Yes. Where are the balls at? I'm risking it. <gasps> no! That ball! Uh, someone else risked it with me too. Nah. It's not worth it. Ooh, how are we in the lead? After all that shenanigans. He pushed me forward some. I gotta go for it, though. No, he pushed me! Why? That's the second time today that happens. No! Stop being so bad. You're costing us crowns. I don't think we've died to Fall Mountain a single time because of our own execution. <laughs> it's because other people... Did so bad that they hit into us and that made us die. Every loss to Fall Mountain, except I think one, was because someone else ran into us by failing and their fail made us die. That is so unfortunate. That would have been our crown. But he got hit by the thing. That's like worse than getting grabbed at the end. <laughs> Because at least if they're if you're getting grabbed, you're dying because they're actually trying to play properly. But um, if you die that way, you're just dying because they're bad. Like you're losing because someone else is bad at the game, <laughs> which is uh, very unfortunate. It's just such a weird way to lose. Same thing can happen on Jump Showdown, but they grab suicide you. Like I think almost every final except for no even Hexagon because they can grab suicide you on Hexagon too. Uh, every single final in the game you can lose because someone else is bad and they will make you lose. <laughs> like every final in this game has a way where someone else's incompetence will kill you. In Jump Showdown, it's Grab Suicide. In, um, in Hexagon, it's also Grab Suicide or Overeating Tiles um, and just constantly following you. And um, in Fall Mountain, it's they fall over and hit into you. Well, that you can somewhat predict, but there's some angles where you just can't do anything about it. The only one that that can't really happen is Royal Fumble. So I guess theoretically they could grab lock you forever, but uh, that wouldn't really be that beneficial use of their time. You can always break away from them. So, um, that's kind of weird. The worst final is actually the only one where someone else can't really technically kill you. Is Royal Fumble. And that's mostly because only the last, like, 20-30 seconds even matter. 
So if they're constantly trolling you the whole time, it doesn't matter. And the whole point of that minigame is kind of to grab and run into people anyways, so... There's not really any weird way where they can sabotage you. And if they are, that's kind of the point of that match. Also, what on earth is that high jump? That got us, like, no distance, but we got, like, higher than I've ever seen. Though that's not that useful for the stage. That would have been really useful if that was, uh... If that was, um... Uh, seesaw. That would have been a very useful hit. Well, on this map, that doesn't really do much. We need distance, not height. Well, technically a bit of both, but uh, distance is more important than height. Uh, do I know when the Witch Skin is going to come to the game? We don't have confirmation on it yet. Obviously this season. Um, the next thing coming in shop for featured items, for whatever reason, seems to be a Filthy Rich title. It costs 100,000 kudos. We will be getting it. And I might even set it. <laughs> Just for fun, since it's kind of the hardest to get uh, title currently, once it comes out. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what we're getting after that. There's um, a post on the Steam that actually has uh, all the upcoming ones. It shows a few ahead of time. Like you predicted Sonic today and a few others already ahead of time. I'm not sure where they're getting the info from. I think they're data mining the game. Because the schedule is probably already preset in the game. Oh, so they found a couple other crossovers that were coming, too. Uh, the Witcher is going to get a crossover in this game. Um, uh, Goose Game looks at, or, um, what is that called? Um, Untitled Goose Game is getting three skins, potentially, which is pretty insane. That's a lot of skin. I think there was one other really big one. Obviously, Sonic came in today, which is the biggest crossover they had yet. Which would probably be the second biggest crossover, then, that they would have. Did we just win? I think we won. Just not have to not mess up the bridge. Hey, we got it. We won. But yeah, the best strategy for bridge is go middle and cut over to uh, whichever one is favorable. And this middle is currently favorable and we'll just stay in middle. But that's the best strategy for bridge, I would say, for that final part. That was a pretty smooth first. I didn't even count how many Sonics we had at the beginning. Oh well. <laughs> Half of them probably been eliminated by now. But yeah, the main skin I'm looking forward to this season is the recolor of the dragon. My next uh, is probably going to be the recolor of the knights. Because you have to get a dark knight. Right now it's more like a hero paladin. But the, uh, there's a recolor of the uh, Paladin that doesn't cost any money. That's going to be like a Dark Knight. Uh, there's a title coming um, in three days after the Sonic skin goes away. That's called Filthy Rich. It costs 100,000 kudos. I think we currently have like 320,000 or something. That's currently going to be the most expensive um, thing in the game. Once it comes out. It's obviously just a useless title. So not having it's not that big a deal, but we're still going to be getting it. Hopefully they'll add a millionaire uh, one eventually that costs a million. I don't think they're going to do it yet because almost no one naturally has a million. I'm pretty sure the number of people that have a million kudos without spending anything is um, probably in the double digits. It's very low. Whereas the number of people that have over 100,000 is several thousand, not more. Camping this area with my ally, and I still don't even get it. Oh, we're doing bad, but my team's carrying me, so that's good. We're not carrying our team for once. That feels very weird. Because normally we score like uh, one third our team score. But I haven't gotten a single ring, I don't think. But as long as we're helping to secure the area, we should be fine. Yeah, this is a really low scoring one. I only have two. <laughs> I need that so badly. No! Ah, uh, so close. Okay, this is risky now. Uh, Red just got that, so we're actually in play of losing. If we're not careful. Uh, my blue team should get that. Good. No point in fighting over if my team's already there. Come on, gold ring. Gold ring, gold ring. Ah, uh, I can take that. Oh no, it's too far! Oh, that looked a lot closer than it was. I failed. 
There better not be a gold ring up there that I'm about to lose. Good, no. No! That was mine. I set up for it. We're doing really bad this time. But it doesn't matter as long as I'm curing the other areas. Oh gosh, one of them got it. That wasn't our team. The red team's losing, so as long as we stay ahead of red. I just need to ambush red and make sure they stay denied. Can't let them get any points. Oh gosh, I didn't get it. I can't see. Camera angles are so bad. Yellow just sniped it. No, we better not lose from one point. We better not lose from one point. I think we're fine. I got denied red. Yeah, we denied red a point. Good. He denied red another point. Okay, I think we're fine. Even if they get a gold ring right now. I don't see them really winning this. Oh, there we go. Oh, we don't even need it. That was one of our lowest scoring um, hoops of daisies for a while. That was one of the few times our team actually carried us rather than the other way around. Oh, no wonder why. It was 10 per people per team. I didn't realize it was that crowded. There was 30 people in that hoops of daisy. I think that's max capacity, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, gosh. Tail tag. No. I'm going to hate when they do hunt only. Because, um... Not only will you have tail tag for one of these stages, like every time, um, but you also have um, you also have um, uh, royal fumble as your final. Because I believe that's the only hunt final in the game. Though you would get a, the fun um, hoopsie legends. Hoopsie legends is a lot better than hoopsie daisy because it depends how well you do, not your team. I think I've only lost it once out of, like, dozens of times. And normally, I've gotten, like, one-third rate of getting first on it. Middle strategy is very overpowered. Especially when uh, people in your lobby don't take it. Guess we got a lot of tails piled together. Normally, I want to stay next to other tails, so when a tail gets grabbed, they have multiple targets. You can also try grabbing them. And if you get the angle right, they'll go for them instead of you. I always want to stay near other tails. Use them as meat shields. Hello, Meat Shield. Thank you. <laughs> See? <laughs> Look at that Meat Shield right there. Look at how effective that was. Thank you. Okay, I need to find another tail. Where are my Meat Shields at? Okay, this guy doesn't look like he knows that we're here. Oh gosh, no. No. That's awful. Okay, where's our target? No, he's just standing in the middle for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, why is he just standing there? Thank you. <laughs> he's not paying attention to the outer ring. Okay, time's starting to run out too much. Oh, he had a tail. I didn't realize that. Okay, I think we're fine. Yep, we're fine. Luckily, he didn't cut the other side. Well, even if he did, I could have just went the other way around or down. I see. Did the guy next to me get eliminated? We stole his tail at one point. No, he made it. That and the Sonics are probably the biggest threat. Actually, pretty much everyone here is in pretty decent skins. Except for the parrot and the uh, half goblin with the yellow face. The other goblin's better, though. He also stole our tail at one point. Okay, jump showdown. I've gotten a lot better than this since our last stream. However, it's still a horrible jump showdown change. That hasn't changed. <laughs> They are going to be reworking it again, they said. So they completely ruined Jump Showdown. But uh, they are going to somehow fix it. But yeah, Grump Sh Jump Showdown is basically Grab Showdown now. There are very few situations where you actually win based on uh, jumping. However, I have had three-way ties or multi-way ties before. Oh gosh, Sonic just grabbed us. He confirmed he's a grabber. Uh, he's the half Sonic. Oh, she's the only Sonic in the lobby. <laughs> There's no other Sonic. All right, let's stay in a safe area. We want to be as far right as possible. Because the other tile we can't jump to. Okay, well, now no one gets that tile. It's too risky to go there. So the big question now is, will this be a solo tile with this many people? It might be. If the next one breaks here, we're going to have a lot of grabbing. That Sonic is going to intensify. Oh no, we got a double tile. Okay, that's slightly safer. Okay, this Goblin's a grabber too. Uh, grab showdown has begun. I'm going to have to go to a safe location. There's too many grabbers. I think one of the grabbers killed himself. 
Oh no, one of the grabbers still alive. Actually, both grabbers are still alive. Both the really big confirmed grabbers. Do I kill them first or do I kill them last? That's the question. Okay, the grabbers are kind of fighting each other, so that's good. I need to stay away from them as much as we can. Why are you even grabbing from that angle? You're at disadvantage. Like, I'm going to have to move around a lot. I just got to pay a lot of attention. Like, I need to anti-grab him or something. Which is even riskier as well. When he's not expecting it. Oh, that was too early. Well, that was way too early. Gosh, grab showdown, why? Why did he have to make it a grab showdown? It was so much better when it was jump showdown. supposed to grab. Oh, I wasn't going for it. Latency lag. I would have killed myself there. I need them to grab suicide. They're both grabbers. I need them to grab suicide already. Alright, one dead. He was the weakest link, though. He was obviously gonna die. The rest of them are good, though. I had to jump, drop, grab early. I mean, uh, I jump early there. Okay, I hear them grabbing. One of them should have died. Uh, somehow neither did. No, I had to jump early. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. That was bad. This guy's making me do such weird moves. I gotta grab him already. Oh, I didn't get him. Oh, I think he got himself. He tried grabbing and just killed himself. Good. Okay, two more people to get rid of. Uh, Sonic's confirmed a grabber. So I'm not sure what we do with him. Okay, dead. Easy. He was going to try going for the kill, too. He's obviously very killable. Okay, now he's got to deal with Sonic, and we win. He's staying in very anti-grabby locations, though. Which is making him hard to target. I want him to jump over to me, and then I jump back over to him. And then we kill him. I need him to jump over to this tile. And fake him out to come over here. And then kill him for doing so. I need him to try attacking me, and then anti-attack him. Uh, he, he put up his arms. He wants it. I think he knows what I'm trying to do now, though. Oh, there we go. We won. Easy. We have won Grab Showdown! <laughs> uh, I hate that they changed it. But, um, yeah, I just gotta grab now. The minigame has switched from jumpings with grabs to if you don't grab, you die. <laughs> That's pretty much how it has changed. Unless you have a really friendly lobby where you get, like, a multi-way win, but then it takes forever. Ah, there we go. We've outgrabbed like three grabbers. Uh, let's see. Let's go update our numbers. Final stages six. Uh, total crowns three or three. Uh, wins today two. Need to get back to fifty percent win rate. Oh, so hello, Adrian Games. Welcome. I do not know how to read Spanish. Well, I know enough Spanish to know that that's Spanish, but I don't know how to read it <laughs> fully. Oh, we got Night Fever again. Uh, the Scout Skin came back um, about a month ago. I got it on the second cycle. It hasn't come back a third time yet, though. They have Scout. I believe it's the only Team Fortress 2 skin in the game. Let's see, how many Sonics do we have in this lobby? We have one, uh, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got less this time. We've been averaging around seven. What happened to all the Sonics? Unless I miscounted one. I'm sure it might have been six. I will have no way of knowing. Gosh, can other people be in bad not kill us, please? I 
There we go. Though this was one of those stages where that's supposed to happen. Where you run into other people. That's kind of like the whole point. Is to have uh, tight areas where you'll deliberately run into other people. Gosh, there's so many people here. I can't even move forward. Okay, there we go. Should be fine now. It's not going to be first, but uh, easily going to win from here. I'm just going to wait for the middle gate at this point. Probably just run straight through as well. Why am I being grabbed? Why do people even grab in that situation? Like, I can understand if you're trying to take first from second place, or uh, if you're second place trying to take first. But in any other situation, what on earth is the point of grabbing there? <laughs> because a very quick grab can um, steal first. But doing it in literally any other situation is near pointless. Other than showing that you're a grabber and making yourself a target for later stages. Because it makes sense if someone's in second and doing it for first. But if someone's doing it in any other position, they're just a grabber. Doing it for no reason. Which means they might grab suicide you on a later stage or something. Or do something very dumb. <laughs> because they prove that they would do something very dumb. And it's never a good idea to do that. Because you make yourself such a target on Jump Showdown and other final stages. Mostly Jump Showdown, though. <laughs> jump Showdown is the only real final stage where you can truly sabotage any target you want. Um, you can somewhat do it in Hexagon, but it's a lot more inconsistent. In Fall Mountain, you can't successfully do it while also winning. Unless they're, like, right barely in front of you. I guess technically you can do it on Royal Fumble. They can't really, like, target target anyone there. They can't, like, target and eliminate them. Like you can in um, other stages. Because a target grab in Hexagon or a target grab in uh, Fall Mountain and you're pretty much dead. It's not exactly a death in Hexagon, but um, you put them back so far that they're pretty much dead, even though they might not die from the grab. And obviously if you do it lower down, they could. And depending on what kind of pit they're over, they could fall a couple floors and even die off of that. But normally the amount of floors they lose is pretty much already a death, even if it doesn't kill them. Directly. I normally only do that if you're in a situation where um, where you have a lot of real estate and you're about to lose it all if you both fight each other. You basically have to go for a grab. And just hope it works. Grabbing is really inconsistent on Hexagon, though. Mostly because of the lag and everything. With grabbing. But getting it successfully is pretty auto win. Especially if they were the last person on your floor. And there's still a lot on the floor left. But you normally don't target people with grabs. That's very risky just to do that. Because you could lose yourself trying to overly target someone in Hexagon. You normally only target whoever's on your floor. Or the right below if it's a situation where it calls for it. Like if you can cut off their path and take their real estate. Especially if you can do it at the exact time where it'll tumble multiple floors. Okay, one more. Also, I haven't been targeting anyone this round. And tomorrow we got a whole new um, game mode too. Or not a new game mode in the sense of a new map. Oh, who knows? Maybe they'll drop one. Shatter drop one. But um, we're getting a new um, type of, mo uh, of... I don't know. What would you even call it? Like a new show? In a sense that uh, a new set of mini games, and it's most likely going to be all the slime mini games. Which, if that is the case, it should be Hexagon and Jump Showdown as every final, which will be amazing. They're the best two finals in the game. Though, due to the changes they made to Jump Showdown, Hexagon is better now. Hopefully, it'll fix uh, Jump Showdown and make it my favorite again. But in the current state of the game, um, Hexagon is better. Which has pretty much been the definitive best for a while, even though I personally prefer Jump Showdown. But they ruined it in the most recent patch. Also, can we get a slime climb that doesn't have wrecking balls? Every slime climb today has been wrecking balls. I can't get kill count on wrecking balls. You can, but it's so much riskier compared to uh, rods or hammers because you don't have a safe zone. So I normally don't bother on uh, wrecking balls. Oh gosh, we got a really good jump. I probably could have made it all the way up. That was a really solid jump. I wasn't expecting it to go that good. Oh gosh, I got hit. I could have made it. We're gonna have to make it a whole cycle later. Which means we'll have to go with the crowd of all the front run. At least we're not in the big herd. 
Like, I think we broke away for first. It depends if he goes for the super shortcut jump. I normally never bother trying for it. It's extremely inconsistent. But you can take that hammer right there and jump up. But the hammer speed has to be correct. Alright, we got easy first. And we're in. Oh, we had about a 10 second lead. Where's the next person? Uh, I think they already made it. Man, I never did wear the wizard outfit yet, have I? We might need to go switch to the wizard and paladin. Which I don't think I've wore either on stream, because dragon was so much more enticing. I don't think I ever bothered using the other two. We need to go make the wizard look like Rousey. But all you'd really do for that is make it as black as possible. <laughs> because there's not much else you could do since you can't change the color of the other things. I think Rousey does have pink glasses though. Let me see. It's a completely black body. I think it's pink glasses. Even though it's a male. Uh, how do you spell Rousey? I think that's correct. Um, no, it's actually green glasses, but it has a pink scarf. So pink glasses kind of work. We need a Rousey skin. <laughs> get an Undertale crossover, go. They probably will eventually. They get a lot of indie games. Oh, so I wonder what the other color variant of Wizard would be. The biggest issue is the beard, though. Oh gosh, fruit shoot. This one's a really big gamble sometimes. I don't really go for safe method just because of how risky going for quicker method is. Because if you fail quicker method, you sometimes lose. But you can also lose by um, by taking safe method and everyone takes risky method and gets it. Uh, looks worth it. Let's go. We took it a little bit later than we could have, but... It's better to be slightly safe. I didn't take the shortcut for the same reason. Ooh. Don't you dare hit me off! <laughs> I played that way too safe. But uh, as long as we don't die. And now we're herded. Let me try breaking free. Oh, I couldn't break free. We're in a really weird spot right now. I think we're fine though. As long as we don't get hit by a fruit right here. Yeah, we're fine. That was a really weird match. Probably qualified. We qualified. Okay, this goes straight to final too. Because you can't get a 3-3-3 team game. 4-4-4 is the lowest. As well as 4-4 is also the lowest. That would be the absolute lowest. Actually, I'm not sure if 4-4 can happen anymore. I haven't seen it for a while. Oh, we got Jump Showdown again. Come on. We need to go get our win rate back up on Jump Showdown. We used to have 80%. Who knows? Maybe we still do. I was really bad on it, like, the first day or two of the new format, but, um, I'm okay at the new format kind of now. Not exactly. Double tile is pretty safe. Single tile is kind of risky in this format, though. Not only grabbers, but because of, um, just the movement's kind of weird. They basically took the most annoying part of, uh, Jump Showdown and made it the entire thing. And while it is easy to last on double tile, single tile is kind of sketchy. So you can last on single as well. Um, where's the safest spot? Safest spots is probably here for now. And if this one shakes, we move left. Also, no grabbers yet. Uh, I'm gonna stay here. This is still safe until yellow falls or blue. Especially if yellow falls. Okay, we're out of here. It's so much safer, I'm not risking it. Yep, that's why. Um, that's why I did that. <laughs> they both made it, but uh, it was a lot riskier doing it as it's shaking compared to doing it up beforehand. I didn't want to take the risk. I'm not dying to RNG today. Oops, someone died somehow. Okay, right, so we got double tile again. Uh, this is a lot safer. Uh, there's so many people still alive that we can't really go for kills yet. The earliest I feel comfortable going for kills is like two other people left. Uh, 
because the more kills you get, the sketchier every person will be. <laughs> like, they know you're going for the kill at that point. <laughs> if you confirm, like, any amount of kills beyond, like, two. Obviously, when it's one-on-one, -on -one, they're all also obviously aware of it. Once they reach that point. Like, if you go from three and you kill the other person. Like, obviously, they realize, like, oh, yeah, he's going to kill me now. <laughs> okay, it's almost grabby time. No one's a grabber, though, so we might just play Jump Showdown legitimately. It just jumps. I'm concerned this pigeon guy's gonna do a weird jump that kills us. I'm taking outer here. Inner could have been done. But uh, we're on double tile. We don't need to risk it. Oh, someone somehow died. I have no clue how they died over there. <laughs> but they did indeed die. I'm taking outer. Just in case. Okay. That's why. Wait, there's only one left. Okay, he tried to jump cancel me. Okay, we just need to grab him and win. He's staying in very ungrabbable positions, though. Okay, he almost got hit there. I'm going to cut over, I think, on the tiles here. And then we can grab him. And then we won. Oh, I failed to grab. Yeah, I grabbed a bit too early there. <gasps> Why'd he do that? No! <laughs> ah, he did a bad angle, but he did get the better um, thing there. No! We lost the grab showdown. He went for such a bad angle there, but he outlived because he made it so I couldn't get a jump because we were in a tumbling state at that point. But yeah, he took a really bad angle, but he outlived because of how he got hit by the rod. That was a really weird angle. Like, he did a suicide angle, but it was in a way where he um, was able to outlive. Very unfortunate. But that's how grab showdown goes. <laughs> May the best grabber win. But yeah, the grab he did was auto death. Like, there's no way to survive the grab he did. So I'm not sure why he did it that way. But apparently it was enough to win with, unfortunately. Because the grab he does, did right there has 0% chance of survival. But it did live longer than um, the tumble that it did to us. But if there was any amount of people left, uh, he would have died. There's no chance he could have survived from that angle. Very unfortunate. I wasn't expecting him to take such a weird angle for it. But it happens. Hopefully we get Hexagon. <laughs> Grabbing can still completely do, uh, do you over there too, but it's a lot rarer to get grabbed on Jump Showdown. I mean, on, um, uh, on uh, Hexagon. Like successfully grabbing is really hard on hexagon and most people don't bother for it unless they really have to unless it's 100 percent required they don't normally go for it but yeah we've been getting some low win rate uh, streams lately it's mostly because they ruined our perfect jump showdown, <laughs> which at one point was our best win rate. Oh, we have 50% win rate on it today, but it used to be like 80% plus. Oh gosh, why? I'm actually gonna get hit here deliberately. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was trying to get hit forward because that would actually boosted us. Oh gosh, no. Oh, the other guy actually took it perfectly over to the side there. We had a previous jump showdown. I did too early of a grab there. That's the main thing that did us in. I do it slightly early just because of the latency issue. But um, if you do it too early, the grab is pretty much pointless and you just show that you're a grabber. Oh gosh, we got Jinx. This is a good stage, technically, if you win. Because you get a lot of bad... Hey! I think it's the first... Oh, never mind, we're not Sonic. I was going to say, this might be the first time on stream that we actually get to be Jinx. Aw, it's double Sonic, though. All the Sonics are Jinxed. 
I guess that's one way to say that the Sonic is cursed. That's kind of funny. Okay, I'm gonna go to this side so we can combat them if they stay on the safe area. There's just more of them over here than our team. So I can deliberately uh, grab, sabotage them. Like that. Oh, oh, whoops. Uh, I forgot. I gotta move away from them, don't I? Haha, <laughs> that might help. Like, it's really risky staying over here. I'm hoping they don't notice. I'm invisible. Not here. It's your imagination. Oh, I tried getting a grab. It didn't work. Fail. Hopefully she got grabbed. No, she hasn't been grabbed. Oh, no, that's bad. Okay. She's still alive. That's very bad. Come on, one on both teams. I'm the last one who hasn't been grabbed. No! <laughs> I lost it for our team. Oh, I didn't think it would still be there. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Very, very. Actually, let's go change our skin. Let's go change the knight or uh, the wizard. We haven't used it. Let's go change the wizard to look like Rousey as close as possible. <laughs> See if that will work. Actually, did I ever even stream Delta Rune Chapter One? I don't think I ever did on the channel. I played it though. Let's see how close we can get. The beard's gonna throw it off though. Uh, let's see. Where is Wizard? Probably under the W's. Would make sense. I think you just black out everything. Uh, where is the very dark one? There we go. Uh, actually, is there a black pink? I don't think there is. Oh, yes, there is. Um, Big Bad is black pink. I want to try getting something towards the lower end of the face. I don't think circle would work because it goes too high. Uh, what would be the lower half of face with pink? Trying to get the lower half to be pink. That's not what I meant by lower half being pink. Actually, what color is Rousey's hands? Uh, they're black, right? They should be. Yeah, they're the same color as skin. Uh, yeah, they're black. They are very much black. Okay, I don't think there's any. There's like the circle, but it goes around the whole face. It doesn't go around the thing. I need just the bottom to be pink. I don't think there's any skid in the game that does it properly. For what I'm trying to go for. Yeah, hoodie goes around the whole head. Uh, yeah, it just isn't, isn't going to work. I'm just going to have to go all in black then. Okay, let me get a darker black then if we're doing that. Because that one's not as dark as uh, Midnight. Uh, if we're not going to be using the pink aspect of it. Where on Earth is Midnight? We just had it earlier. It's the black and white one. There it is. That's the blackest black. Alright, there we go. Let's go with Wizard. We're all ready to go. No pattern. I don't think we're on a pattern, right? I think we're on default. If we're on a pattern, it's one that's invisible, so... <laughs> Doesn't matter! Maybe I'll go run the wizard skin for the win. We haven't actually gotten a win with wizard. Then we'll go get a win with paladin. Since we don't have a paladin win either. Okay, we got Night Fever. Let's see if we can get a 
front run. However, front run is basically determined by your starting position. Unless you get front row or second row on side, you can't front run. Okay, we got perfect location actually. Or one of the two perfect locations. Oh, it's not as perfect, but no one's gonna get hit by it, so we should be fine. No one's gonna get hit right here. I should take any other one. It's actually quicker, based on our position. Oh, we made cycle? Yeah, I made the cycle. I think we did. Yeah, I made the cycle. No! No! I ruined the front run! No! Ah, oh, I made the first cycle, but I was slightly behind, so I didn't make the second cycle. Ah. Oh. The first place has been dashed. Oh, that was so good. And it was ruined. I spoiled it. Oh, that was such a solid front run until we ruined it. <laughs> He's just grabbing the other guy. That was weird. Why did the mage do that? He, like, grabbed the, uh... Oh, gosh, the dragon didn't even make it, either. New player just got past that section. Sonic's not gonna make it, either. Come on, you're wearing ten crowns. How are you not making it? Or did he get for them from the season pass? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you don't even know anymore if someone actually has, like, a legitimate ten crown or if it's all season pass now. Because you could have zero wins yet still have a full set of legendary now. Due to the most recent season pass. So good skins are no longer technically an indicator of um of if the player is actually good or not. I'm still targeting them though. <laughs> Hasn't changed. Oh gosh, Jinx again. We almost won the previous one. But not quite. Almost doesn't give you the crown. Or to qualify. I almost feel like just getting grabbed immediately and just ambushing everyone. We're a pretty decent grabber. I'm gonna do it for once. Let's see if I can stun him. Oh, okay, there we go. Thank you. Why is my own team grabbing me? Why is this a thing? Hello. Oh, uh, hello. I didn't intercept him. Easy. Got him. Okay, we got three kills so far. Come on, someone grab him. How did no one grab him there? Got him. Where's the other guy? Hello, Sonic. Someone grab him. Someone grab him! How did everyone miss him? How's he still not grabbed? There we go. Okay, come on, two more. Nope. Ah, oh, they got our last two immediately. No, that's the other problem with grabbing too. Because your own team won't survive long enough. We got like four or five kills. We well, didn't do exceptionally good that time at grabbing though. I was expecting to get grabbed a bit earlier, but he grabbed one of my teammates rather than me. Which is unfortunate. We also didn't get a proper grab lock on him. At the beginning. That's because our allies were in the way. Hello, Dev. Welcome back. We well, gotta get a wizard win. And we got the magician final thing, too.
the hands are clipping through the hat. It's so big. Ah, Night Fever again. See if we get a good front run position. I need more practice trying to get first on the stage. The only good starting position even has a chance at it, though. It's mostly the thick bonkuses that keep getting us. Like, every other obstacle we pretty much have down. Well, sometimes we just do a weird cycle on it. Also, I need to find a way to do it better if we're out of cycle. Also, this is a pretty horrible starting position, but at least there's not anyone in front of us. Gotta go through the herd. No! We got herded. We're in too big of a congestion. Right, hopefully we don't get herded here, though we're in a gigantic area with a bunch of people. Gosh, the herd. I need to break away from every single person. Otherwise, they'll keep killing us. I'm going to wait for them to go. So they don't kill us. Right, I should easily qualify, but uh, we got herded. Right, we're on psycho right now as well. That's good. Just going down middle. What on earth just happened with him? He was like all over the place and then somehow still got a grab on us. Uh, both. I am on a controller and on PC. I'm using a Switch controller on the PC version because obviously it's not out on Switch. But uh, both. Uh, Switch Pro controller with um, while playing on PC. So it's trying to identify it as like a PS4. Or actually, uh, I think it's trying to... I'm not sure what kind of controller it's trying to identify it as. But it's not a Switch controller. <laughs> even though we're using a Switch controller. Because all the keys are showing as weird buttons. Like, none of the buttons ever tells you to press is actually the one that I need to press. These are, like, bound differently. Oh, that reminds me. We never used a Jester. We got the Jester emote, and we still haven't done the Jester yet today. We need to get a win with, um... The Wizard. Paladin. And Jester with a Jester taunt. I haven't even used the taunt yet in a battle, let alone with Jester itself. Definitely need to. I'm pretty sure quite a few people use the Switch controller. Most people will just use whatever controller they have. Oh gosh, we got perfect match. If nothing else. This is a good time to emote check, so we can see what this emote looks in a battle. It might look a little weird doing as a wizard. <laughs> that emote has attracted a victim to try to hit us. that emote. This is a really spammable emote. Okay, orange apple uh, watermelon, orange apple 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 watermelon, orange. And Crip is right over there. Also, how many Sonics are still in the lobby? Gosh, there's like six or seven. Uh, apple, water, apple, water, apple, water, orange, 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 apple, water, orange. Please give me more info. Apple, water, orange, grape, 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 apple, and the other two are right above it. This should be apple. Oh, I should have faked it. Up. Well, we technically faked them by not even faking it. <laughs> not sure how that worked. <laughs> we went to the right tile, yet it still faked them out. Go figure. I should have went to a fake tile there. Could have probably killed even more. I went immediately to the real one, though. Might have been able to kill every single person there if we went to a fake. Rather than just killing a few of them still somehow.
Okay, we got a fruit shoot. Uh, I like some for starting all the way to left, too. Um, this is actually such a good starting position that I might actually go for the jump. The only problem is the person right to our right is in a slightly better, more favorable location. I'm concerned with how his movement's going to be. Okay, he didn't go for it, so I'm just going to go for it. I think we're fine. Just keep an eye on the sky. Okay, we're safe. Actually, you get to front run now. Feels weird front running fruit shoot. Oh, go! He somehow slipped. I hate when it does that. I'm still not sure why it does that sometimes. But it does. We're still front running left side, though, somehow. Even after that big mistake. There we go. We got it the second time. Oh, no! We got watermelons! No! Our first place. Dashed. Oh, gosh. Can we stop getting hit? That'd be great. Aww. That was ours to win. If you qualified in a decent position. Or at all. <laughs> Poor Sonic. Still trying to get his lower half. Not today. Yeah, getting a win with the Magician uh, final screen is going to be funny. Because it's probably the only skin in the game where it actually matches. Hey, wall guys. We haven't got wall guys for a little while. Actually, what we really haven't gotten for a while is uh, Hoopsie Legends and uh, the Egg Scramble one. I forget what it's called. Egg Siege, I think it's called. Okay, um, all the way to the right at the end is kind of already good. I don't think there was tiles to jump over to it, though. Ah, oh, my jump input. What happened to it? We got eight and... safe over here. Oh gosh, I didn't make it. Too many people there. Oh no, I didn't jump. Or I didn't grab, I mean. Oh, I needed to dive there. I did the first time and it didn't work. And then didn't, didn't the other time and also didn't work. <laughs> Alright, we're in a bad position now. I can't even get over there now, I don't think. Okay, good. We got it. All right, what's the game plan here? Uh, you can make that from here. Oh, I almost didn't make it, though. Okay, I think we're fine. Can we make that? Yeah. Okay, we're in. Qualified! And it should go to final unless it goes to 5 on 5 team game. Uh, the only one that really matters make it first on is the final. I mean, the last one, I mean. Or, yeah, the final. That's what I said. <laughs> but uh, every other one's just fun to do. Not actually required, though. It does affect how many kudos you get, though, in fame, but we already maxed that out. Then we have more kudos than we ever know what to do with. Unless they change the game slightly. What's what that one guy doing? He was, like, hanging on the edge, that little red tomato. But he's out. He didn't want to go out, <laughs> but he's out. Let's go get our win. Unless this goes on 5 on 5 fall ball, which it better not. But we haven't had fall ball stream. Oh, good. Oh, a Frex Hexagon to the stream, too. Nice. That's what we want to see. They need to add a 1 million kudos title that says Millionaire. It needs to happen. If they want a kudos sync, they'll do it. They're doing Filthy Rich for 100,000. But, uh... We don't have a, um... The other one yet. The Millionaire. Okay, I just got eaten. I just got super eaten. Not even sure where we drop, but I'm going to cut these guys off. I think that was worth it. I was hoping you couldn't make it, and you couldn't. Problem low. Where do we go? <laughs> There's nowhere to go. Up. Uh, I'm not even sure where we cut. I'm kind of cutting myself into a corner. Yep, I cut myself into a corner. Uh, is that jump possible? I believe the answer is no, and I'm not going to risk it. 
It looks very much not possible. They have the high ground. No one's on this floor. Can we cut off here? Ooh, I almost didn't make that jump. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're in a pretty solid position right now. Where are we dropping, though? Where on earth are we dropping? Okay, I could probably cut them off over here. However, the biggest turn is the chicken over there. I'm going for this one. I'm not sure if he's expecting it. What happened to the chicken? Oh, he failed. Good. Oh, he super failed. Uh, problem, though. Can I even cut over to the purple over there? I don't think I can. I should save those for later. Uh, okay, we're going to be in the middle of nowhere. I'm not even sure where we jump to. We got a little bit of purple real estate. Not sure if it's really worth taking, though. Oh, gosh. We're about to get into a fight now. Ah. Uh. Uh, I just cut myself so much. Oh, that was the last person. Never mind. Okay, we won. <laughs> wizard win! Okay, we gotta win as wizard. Let's go change our skin now. Let's go get a win as paladin. Or hero, whatever it's called. Wizard getting the magician final screen. Perfect synergy of cosmetics. There we go. Give us that crown. 100% hexagon win rate today. Let's keep it that way. Okay, let's go change our outfit. Uh, first, let me go update the numbers, though. Uh, let's see. Where are the numbers at? One moment. Final stages. Uh, yeah, it's a new final screen. It's the one for completing out the pass. We had it since, like, the second day of the season. But uh, I think it's, um, this stream was the first time we showed it on stream. So I've had it since the second day. Oh, gosh, we only had three wins today? We need to fix that. Uh, our win rate's pretty low. Normally want to aim for 50%. Okay, what was I doing? Changing outfit. Could do that. Yeah, it's a new ending that was added. Is the season reward for the season? Or you know the final thing? Okay, right, let's go make a paladin. I haven't done the paladin yet. The other five-hour skin because we've mostly just bought it for the dragon. But uh, this one is used more than the um, than the dragon. Oddly enough, ah, where to go? <laughs> paladin in a dress. Perfect. Paladin Sonic. The Sonic Paladin. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Uh, there's full paladin. Okay, let's go change the rest of our outfit to match. Actually, I kind of like the darkness. Uh, blue. Oh, hold up. This might work, though. Oh, the yellow is kind of off, though. Can we invert this? What outfit is kind of inverted? Because I like that blue for this. <clears throat> the chainmail kind of works. Uh, what else do we have? The lower bottom blue. Looks kind of weird. Fade kind of weird. Hmm. This blue does match, though. Is there any way to invert it to have it cover your whole body? I don't think there is. We need an inversion skin, so the secondary color can be your entire body. You can with some kind of effects, depending on what your body is, but uh, no consistent way to do it. That one kind of works. Is there anything else that has this good of a blue that has it inverse? Is the primary color. Uh, yes, but the secondary is red. Because that blue works perfectly. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a blue with the orange. Hold up. It's not as perfect, though. But actually, yeah, it kind of works. I'm going to see what this looks like with... Uh... Oh, that's actually a yellow. A goldenish yellow. Oh, it's a legendary T-Rex. No wonder why it's gold. Uh, this can actually work. Let me find a skin where it works for. I think we can make this work. Going with blue and gold. I'm not sure which one is subtle enough to bother going for, though. Unless we just go solid color. Which we might just do. Solid color into blue faceplate. There we go. We are truly blued. <laughs> We're like all in on the blue. Unless we want to go orange to match the thing. Hmm. All blue? Or a little bit of orange offset. Orange probably works better. I kind of like the camouflage of the all in blue. They both work pretty well. Hmm. Choices. Where's the other orange? Oh, that's too orange. Hmm. Yeah, we're going with the orange. Oh, oh I didn't change it. There we go. All right, let's go with the paladin. Let's go get a paladin win. 
Paladin time. Because that makes it seem like he's in all armor. If you make his blue his face, it doesn't look as much like armor. But yeah, with the blue, it kind of made his own body look like armor. But as orange, it makes it look like his body is orange, with the armor being uh, all the blue. Yeah, this one's actually more popular than the dragon. I do like the dragon more, but it is a pretty good outfit. <coughs> oh gosh, DoorDash, no. Why? We haven't lost DoorDash today. Nor do I ever want to again, ever. <laughs> That's one of those locked face stages that uh, it's probably one of the only first stages we could actually legitimately lose on. Oh, we got Aegis. We're safe. Even if we fall behind, we have a backup plan. No one likes the burger. I like the burger. I just didn't bother buying it. I'm waiting till it goes on sale before we get the fries and burger. Also, we're getting no for sure. We're getting alternative fries at some point soon, or maybe not soon, but at some point. And that was my other favorite skin from the pack. Yeah, the burger was pretty good. I just didn't want to spend five dollars for a burger skin or, uh, uh, <laughs> or a um, uh, fry skin. But for a dragon skin, yes. <laughs> and it comes with a paladin and a wizard for free. Or, you know, they're all in the set. But I would have happily paid five dollars for just a dragon. Oh, he found everyone. But his armor actually looks pretty cool. It's starting to grow on me. Even though we literally just started using it. I like how the blue makes his whole body looks like armor. Because before I kind of hated how it didn't cover like the whole body. But you can actually fix that with your color. Please let me have a jump here. Oh gosh, I'm just running it. <laughs> there we go. That would have been horrible if we were in a position where we needed that to win. <laughs> Yeah, we won the wizard with the magician um, final screen. <coughs> so if we win with this, we've won with all three skins on stream today. All the DLC ones. Because we've gotten a win with Sonic today. We got a win with Dragon. We got a win with uh, Wizard. And we're about to get a win with Paladin for the fourth win. At this rate, we might as well just keep switching our skin until we get a win with them. Uh, I guess we go to Jester next because we got the new cool Jester emote. But we've gotten a Jester win before, but might as well add it to the stream. Should have enough time to get a win for it. Probably stream for another two-ish hours or so. And probably grab dinner. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped like that. The clip made us go slow. I can still front run this if they do bad, though. Ah, uh, this is very sketchy. Okay, we got it. <gasps> no. Yes, no. I think we still won. Hard to tell. <laughs> I think we won. There was some sketchy bridges right there. Oh, he lived. Oh, and then he didn't. <laughs> he did for a moment, and then no. <laughs> player couldn't make it 
The one pink in the sprinkles right next to us to uh, to the right. He didn't make it. Both the sprinkles died. Normally only newer players ever wear sprinkles. It's one of the first patterns you get by default. I think you only start with like three or so or something. Three or four, somewhere around there. It's like Thunderbolts, it's default, Thunderbolts, uh, sprinkles, and I believe underwear are the patterns you start with. I think you start with four colors. One of them is like a blue, the pink default. I forget what the other two were. Oh, we're a red knight now. That actually looks really cool. Especially with the yellow face. The yellow face actually worked out really well. The orange is yellow. I'm not going for it. Oh, he missed too. Like, our team is not carrying us this time. So we gotta find our gold ring ourselves. Taking it just in case. That was the first one there, though my team would have covered it. Oh gosh, he's gonna take a steal double point from me. No, he didn't. He's bad. Good. And being bad helped us a lot. For once, someone being bad didn't kill us. It actually helped us. People being bad today has actually killed us so many times. <laughs> the amount of finals we should have won today, if people weren't bad, is absurd. Like, if we were actually in good lobbies, we would have won more than if we were in bad lobbies. There's a lot of weird final losses today to uh, people doing weird moves. Please go in there. We have four people here. One of you don't go for it. We have way too many people here as well. I'm not sure why everyone's camping here. But in all fairness, oh my. But I was here first. <laughs> ah, I can't do it. I was going to go for it. I'm trying to get a gold ring over here. Which is normally a strategy for middle. But they are not wrong to spawn. Uh, we're kind of even. Which is concerning. Uh, Blue just took a lead. Hopefully my team can get points over there. Why are none of them wanting to spawn over here? There we go, thank you. Come on, gold ring. Give us a luck. Give us that gold ring win. We're doing very bad for our team this time. <gasps> it's the other side, come on. Red team, you just failed us. No, there was one person on our red team and they didn't get it, they missed. Yellow team got it. Oh, that's really bad actually, we lost. It's over. Red team got it. I mean, uh, yellow team got it, I mean. No! <laughs> that last gold ring did us in. We would have won otherwise. My teammate missing the uh, one gold ring did us in. Very unfortunate. That all happen in team games. PUBG Legends is so much better because your team being bad has no effect since it's every person for themselves. And then you just auto win within like 30 seconds and then watch everyone for like a minute or two. Oh, it does kind of look like the Toy Soldier pet from Gems of War. Which reminds me, I haven't taken tribute a single time this stream. Ta! Uh, let me go grab it. Yeah, I've been streaming for two hours and I haven't taken it once. Oh, uh, where is it? Gems of War, where are you? There. But yeah, that event today isn't worth grinding that much. We'll run through it once, which most of which we did on the previous stream this morning. But uh, doing it more than that just isn't that worth it. <laughs> I wish we got more kudos for playing within a lobby with the same skin. That'd be very overpowered. You just make like a team. Get uh, four people all in the same skin and you just go in. That'd be funny. That'd be a very funny mechanic. That would incentivize people to actually buy the same skin. Like if you go in with a lobby of four. And everyone wears the same skin. It's like, oh, here's some extra kudos for uh, all being the same skin. That would be an interesting mechanic. I don't think they would ever do that, though. Though theoretically, it would help sell certain skins. Though everyone would just do an easy skin. If it didn't matter which skin it was. Okay, can we get a good hit? Our last one was very horizontal. 
Ooh, that's a good hit. Uh, I don't think we're making it, though. I can't look to see how close we are. Ah, we got it. Nice. That was actually first. Now to do that on final. <laughs> now just to do that on final. <laughs> we'll be good. Yeah, we haven't had a slime climb death spree today. We keep getting uh, wrecking balls. If we get the first slime climb we get that isn't wrecking balls, I will go and kill as many people as possible. Well, we need not wrecking balls. In a lobby of 38, we could probably get seven kills. Oh, slime climb! Come on, anything but wrecking balls. It's time. Come on, we got wrecking balls every single slime climb today. Give us anything but it, and we'll do it. We'll thin this lobby to like 10 people. Come on. No! We got wrecking. I'm still gonna do it. We haven't had fun on slime climb yet today. Even though we got wrecking balls. I'm gonna just do the rod instead. There's enough paladins that we can blend in with every other paladin. Because some amount of paladin should live. And as long as one other paladin lives, they could maybe think it was him and not me. Also, can we not die here? That'd be great. I don't want to get herded here. Am I just going to wait or not? The herd moved me forward. <laughs> I was going to wait. But the herd literally moved us into uh, victory, I guess. And now they're moving us into not being able to jump up here. Okay, I think we did a rod and then we take upper kills. The only problem with that is you won't kill the really good people in the lobby, but you'll thin out the lobby. So you have to deal with hard people in final, but you get to final quicker. Hello, my old friends. Oh, people are way more aggressive on uh, Rod now. Mm, interesting. Oh, gosh, I missed. We might not be able to get Rod kills today. Or not Rod kills, but uh, preventing people from going. Look how many people got through. I just think we need to go uh, avoid the Rod and just start getting kills at the top, I guess. Too many people got past the Rod now. Since we weren't able to guard it, no one else took out the roll. So, new plan. Get kills right over here in this little area. Hello. I see you've chosen death. One kill. Okay, kill count. One. Two. Next. And that's why I stay on the side. How far is the slime? Okay, we still could go for it one more time. Hello, Sonic. Uh, I didn't kill the Sonic, unfortunately. That's a bad angle to grab him from. It's also a bad angle. Can't get a good angle on him. Oh, I can kill this guy. Oh, he moved. We would have stayed there for like half a second longer. Hello, slime. All right, we only got two kills. Ah, that's such a low kill count. But we did two without dying. That's why I hate wrecking balls. It's so much harder to secure kills there, because the main safe area that you would go back to to reset after a kill you can't do, and it puts you in too many exposed areas to die. Gosh, twenty-one people got through. No one's wanting to kill on Slime Climb anymore. I feel like the uh, qualification numbers has been going up and up. Oh, we got X Siege, though. We haven't gotten X Siege all uh, stream. At least it's the only uh, new stage we haven't gotten. I think we got Hoopsie Daisy to stream, didn't we? I think we got it once. Have we not gotten Hoopsie Daisy to stream? I can't remember. Okay, well, let's go win X Siege. Uh, there's only seven people. We got a really bad starting position. I hate the side. So much better to get the center. Give me a gold egg, please. Oh, he stole it. You know what? I'm just gonna get these eggs. Alright, let me grab these. They kind of fell over. 
uh, let's see if I can do the jump over here. There we go. Oh gosh, my other egg. Oh, my other egg fell too. Wait, that didn't quite work, did it? <laughs> Gotta get a really weird angle for it to make that work. There we go. I think that made it in. Uh, who do we attack? Uh, yellow team is losing, so let's attack yellow. Sorry, yellow. You shouldn't have been losing. The fact that you chose to be on yellow team by pure luck has chosen death for you. There's not even attacking over here. I'm just gonna toss it out. Doesn't even matter if we bring it back. We just need yellow to have literally zero, which uh, they're working towards <laughs> very quickly. Right, this one we'll bring back, I guess. Oh no, yellow has a point. Who let yellow have a point? I'll wait for the gates. Please grab the other egg that's on the ground and not just do that. Why are you attacking red? <laughs> Stay on yellow. I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. We have like zero chance of losing. And if we lose every gold egg. <laughs> yellow is literally at zero. The amount of zero that yellow is at is pretty hilarious. No. You're not allowed. No. No. Oh, I didn't make that jump. Gotta do the same thing with the egg. Same angle. Hey, we got the highest amount of points too. Nice. 19 to 17 to 0. <laughs> Poor yellow team. They made a bad decision being on yellow team by pure luck. Or unluckiness, I should say. Oh no, we're not using dragon skin. We're not going to lay on the egg. Also, the last time we laid on the egg, it faced through the ground on stream. I haven't had that happen since, but we somehow got a gold egg to face through the ground. I think it hatched. Okay, we got tiptoe. <laughs> yellow always has zero when you watch this. Poor yellow team. Okay, let's go do the pretend to go jump strategy. We're gonna jump. Nope. <laughs> oh, there's our path. And there's the next path. Forward, peasants! <laughs> we are the royal knights. We need everyone else to do dirty work for us. Actually, this might be straightforward. We already know it's straightforward again. Uh, it might not be forward from here, though, but it could be. It can be straight, but it's very likely not straight. It's not over there. That's confirmed. It's not over there. That's confirmed. Straight is still possible. It hasn't been deconfirmed. Okay, now it has. <laughs> ah, there it is. Aha, we're in. Oh, we're the last to qualify, I think, too. Ooh, that was shaky. Did I like the credit song in Kirby? I don't even remember what it was. It was so long ago. It was like last year. I think it was pretty good. I don't recall it at the moment, though. Most Kirby music's pretty good, though. The soundtrack for the game is pretty insane for a free-to-play game. Though he uses a lot of themes similar to past games. Just kind of reworked. Oh gosh, we got Fall Mountain. The whole reason we're playing this game mode is so we don't get Fall Mountain. Coin flip time. Hopefully we land on Crown. Okay, there's no end hammers. So we have to front run. Also, us being a grabber has no effect on this final now. So that's good. Also, there's another Paladin. So even if they thought it was us, it could have been him. So we're safe from suspicion. Gosh, what on earth was that tumble over there? What on earth is the physics this time around? We're in a, such a weird position. Okay, we lost. <laughs> what on earth just happened? We got herded so hard. I should probably go left side just to have a chance, but uh, kind of have to stay straight and just hope we get a grab. It's always, whenever I don't get front run, we always get like the worst amount of luck. Like when there's no hammer here or no front run, it's always the worst. No! Why did no one grab him? <laughs> no! But whenever I front run, it'll have like every possible obstacle there. Yet whenever I don't front run, there'll be literally no hammer there whatsoever. <laughs> leaving like no chance to win. You can't pull any shenanigans off of it. Unless you're like right there to grab. I tried diving to make some of the other ones fumble though. Come on, we need to go get our night win. 
Apparently it's not that lucky of a night. Uh, because it didn't win the luck-based stage. Though I had no clue what happened with the herd mechanic there. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of streams dipping down to 33% win rate. We need to better. We've had streams as high as like 80, 90% win rate. Actually, I think 82% was the highest we've ever had for a win rate by the end of the stream. And that means uh, at least 10 plus games. But uh, I forget exactly how many we did that stream. But uh, any stream that we did 10 plus games, which I believe is pretty much every game, uh, as far as finals, we have had a, um, the highest we've ever had was 82% win rate. The lowest we ever had was, I want to say 15 to 20, which is still pretty good if you consider that the average final has like eight people in it. So if you have like a 12% win rate or higher, you technically are doing decent. <laughs> You're technically doing like average if you have like a 10 to 15% win rate. Anything 20% or above is technically above average if you have a 20% or above win rate. And every stream we've done in like the last like month, I think pretty much has been. We had like a really bad day one day. But anything above 20% is good. But obviously, you want to be getting way higher than that. I'm not even sure where we go here. Hey, a dragon. Oh, yeah, we need to go slay the dragon. Before we slay the paladins as the dragon, but now we gotta go slay the dragon as the paladin. I'm not sure if we can make this, but I'm going for it. Because we get first place if we do, and we did. It was worth the risk. Oh no! I'm not sure if we made first place! <laughs> we'll find out. Somehow someone got over the first gates on that cycle. Because we tumbled when we did the dive. Whereas they might have done a straight jump and then just dived in. Okay, good. They didn't snipe our first. They came close though. Yeah, we need to go get rollout or something. We need to go slay the dragon. We have the inverse roll now. Instead of being a dragon killing the paladins, we gotta be a paladin killing the dragon. Also, we're the only paladin and dragon in the lobby. So it'll be easy to find. I also know it was us. <laughs> Though they still don't have... Uh, you're not allowed to use your name in the game yet. Hopefully they fix that in the next upcoming month or two. Because currently we're still Fall Guy 1618, I believe it is. I can easily check by doing the little thingy. But I believe we're 1618. That sounds familiar. I got a perfect match so we can easily check. But I believe that's our Fall Guy number. Until we can finally set our name to Tacit. Tacit Terror probably won't fit though. Also, I believe it takes it based on what your Steam name is, unless you can change it manually in game. But then again, I think my name is on Tacit Terror on Steam. I don't think that would fit, though. Uh, yep. 1618. I thought that was correct. Alright, we have oranges and cherries. Hey, where's the dragon? Is there any chance to even remotely slay him on the stage? Probably not. Where is he? Did he kill himself already? <laughs> he did the job for us! So he's probably here somewhere. I doubt he jumped off the stage. Someone died. <gasps> no! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay, where's all the things I want? Uh, uh, grape water cherry, 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 grape water cherry. Where's your dragon? Grape water cherry, grape water cherry, grape water cherry, grape water cherry, grape water cherry. And the other one was right to the left there. Did the dragon die? How did the dragon die? Did he die on the previous rounds? I'm pretty sure he qualified. He had to have died on this round somehow. Uh, grape, uh, banana, grape, banana, banana, grape, water, banana, grape, water, banana, grape, water, orange, 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 banana, grape, water. We had a dragon had to have died on the stage before, um, before the dropping even started. So I'm not sure what happened there. Unless he disconnected. Because there's no dragon left. <laughs> I 
We got a hoopsie daisy. Okay. Do you think he won't take that ring? No! I was trying to, like, bounce him out. Hoping that would work. Come on. Someone from our team, go for it. I'm going to do the bottom route. I don't normally do bottom. But we've been doing really bad at top just because of bad luck. I should have just went for the other hoop. It's right next to us. Luckily, one of our blue team got it. The hoop's still there, too. Gosh. The yellow team got it, though. I stayed there for a while. Uh, I kind of want that middle one, but someone else could take it before we get... Oh, I want that. I want some of our team. Yes. Our team still secured it. Steal that from them. Oh, gosh. Every single time I leave this area, every single ring is like, oh, I'm just going to appear here now. how it works. Good. <gasps> no! No! <laughs> I wanted that. Uh, seriously, anytime I'm not up there, it's like it just wants to drop every single piece of good drop. This is why I always do top area. Because the second I don't do top area, it wants to spawn everything up in top area. <laughs> Look at how many are spawning this round here. Look! <laughs> They're still spawning! They're spawning while I'm there! <laughs> They're spawning so much. Gosh. Should have stuck, st stuck to top area that time. It really did us over, like, well, the previous round, but uh, it just wanted to really drop a lot that time. So I like the silver armor that it has. I think the color, other color variant of it uses that silver a bit more. It uses, like, a dark um, knight. It might even be called Dark Knight. The other color variant of Paladin. Which doesn't exist yet. Block Party! What's the new challenge in this game? I'm not sure what you mean by that question, but a new mode's coming out tomorrow. Well, not a new game mode, but a new um, like series of matches. Which are going to be likely based on Slime. Which is much better than the current Gauntlet one. Which are all racing games. Biggest issue with it is Fall Mountain's the only final on it. Uh, we don't know for sure, but it's likely to be all slime. Which means every single stage will have a death pit. Which means if you fall down even a single time, you lose. On every single stage. Because it's going to be like Slime Climb, and Perfect Match, and uh, Rollout, and um, Hexagon, Jump Showdown, stuff like that. We don't know for sure if it's going to be that one, but it's likely to be the matches. All slime pits of death. Meaning a single fall is death. Oh, also rollout falls in that category. Like every single stage basically that has an instant kill slime pit. Is likely to be with a cycle for tomorrow. I almost got herded there. Luckily we were right in the middle of it. Yeah, tomorrow should be a lot of fun to do that game mode. And also make it so we won't have any Fall Mountains. Assuming that's the mode that they go for. Because Rollout and Hexagon should be the only two, and they're the best two finals. Which means we could probably rack up a lot of wins in that time. Also, I wonder if it's Sonic wearing a Toucan as the bottom. Such a funny combination. Toucan's like the one of the best bottoms in the game. Oh gosh, no one's gonna die now. Everyone gets to live. Am I the only paladin left? I was gonna grab someone, but uh, he's too suspicious. Did he just kill himself now? Two 
too suspicious. Yeah, we're doing a Paladin. We don't want to try start taking kills. Oh, why couldn't they have done that a second sooner? We could have three kills. They obviously did it because they knew they wouldn't die, but still. Oh no, 12. We better not get 6 on 6 fall ball. Though we haven't gotten fall ball stream, so. I guess it wouldn't be too bad. It thins out the final. Maybe 12 hexagon can be a little hectic. Oh good, we got uh, 12 sh uh, jump showdown. A lot of people on jump showdown doesn't matter as much. Hexagon probably matters the most on how many people there are. Second most is probably Fall Mountain. This one, generally enough, gets thinned out quick enough that it doesn't matter, especially with the quicker speed. I think someone already died. I heard the animation. They didn't apparently die, though. Oh, now someone did. <laughs> one down already. The only problem with more people, though, is more potential grabbers. Okay, I'm bailing. The RNG has shifted to be better on this side now. Oh gosh. We could RNG die here. Oh no. We better not die to RNG. No! No! Don't you dare kill us with RNG. If we're gonna die, we're gonna die because we're getting in a grab fight. No! Why, game? Why? Why I gotta do us like that? No! <laughs> Look, we got perfect goals. They're like almost all first places. And it's like, nope, we're just going to kill you with RNG. Uh, it's literally impossible to live that. Well, maybe not literally impossible. That jump is near impossible, though. Um, when it's a 2-2 two, two completely divided, you're pretty much dead. <laughs> like, this, your chance of survival is near zero. Like, maybe once in a thousand times you can get a jump that just ever so perfectly glides across the, uh, the hitter and gets you past. But, uh, gosh, we just died to RNG. That hurts. Phase is not our day. I <laughs> never change sides. Yeah, that's a major rippity right there. I was considering uh, hopping over to the other side because it had less people. But um, both sides had the same chance of dying. So there's no way of knowing. They should make that impossible to happen on that stage. Because there's no way to combat it. There is literally nothing you can do to combat it. They basically just die because of pure luck, or lack thereof. Like, if there was at least a way to kind of counter it in some way, it could kind of work. But a double divided two is uh, pretty much unsurvivable if both your two go down. Because that jump can't be made to bail to the other two from the two that just dropped. I hope when they do that rework to uh, jump showdown, they do that. They're going to likely do a speed rework so it keeps going quicker because currently it doesn't. Or do something in that regard. Maybe go speeds up, slows down, speeds up, slow down or something. But I hope they also make it so they can't get that divide. Oh, we got a dragon we need to slay. We theoretically did in the recent lobby. However, we weren't the one who slayed it. <laughs> but it was slain. Oh gosh, we got herded. We somehow lived though. That was very sloppy. Okay, we're out of cycle right now. I might just wait for it. I lied. We're going for it. This is very unlikely to make it. Oh, I got it. This is the, to the inner. Okay, we can make this gate just by going forward on it. Oh, no, I tripped. No, how did I trip? I don't think we would have made first anyways. That one all the way to the right would have made it. Also, was that default skin? If that was default skin, it's a fake default. A newer player would never make first on this stage. There's too many obstacles that uh, a newer player wouldn't be able to do first try. But then again, we made, um, I think, third place the first time we ever had this map. I think third and fifth, like, the first two times. But a newer player generally wouldn't have made it that good. So if there's a default skin in this lobby, it's a fake default skin. Come on, what are you doing? You're never going to make it if you just stand there. Oh, no, he's really, really not going to make it. 
Okay, is there a default skin? He's a big threat, potentially. He's pretending to be default, but isn't. Yep, there's a default skin. He must be eliminated. We don't know how strong he actually is. Actually, there's kind of two of them. Well, only one of them is actual default. But the other guy kind of looks somewhat like it. But I'm pretty sure it was actual default that went through. It's one or the other. If nothing else, we can eliminate both. <laughs> It'll be really easy to tell if we target a default skin, though. Because if he dies easily, he wasn't, um, he was default. And, uh, if he die, doesn't die, <laughs> then he's definitely, uh, just faking it. Oh gosh, we got perfect match, but we're not killing him here. He's unfortunately surviving. Oh, we got two dragons we need to slay, though. So this is a very hard course to get any kills whatsoever on anyone, let alone on a target. I'll try to get one. Banana cherry. Someone fell off already. doing trying to grab me i see you've chosen death <laughs> uh let's see i'll remember that for later apple cherry apple cherry orange 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 i see a lot of kills i want apple cherry orange apple cherry orange apple cherry but this is not a stage we can he really wants to grab me uh cherry apple grape orange 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 cherry apple grape and we're in Okay, so what's the full list of things we need to kill? We need to slay every dragon. We need to get rid of the gold bone guy. We need to get rid of the Peabody. And... I think that's it. As far as kills I definitely want. And both dragons are still in play. Peabody's in play. And the gold bones who kept grabbing us is still in play. I think he's highest priority though. We gotta kill him first. <laughs> Slime climb! Ooh, okay. Kill time. So our record for kills today is only two. We could easily beat that. It's such a low kill count. Come on, anything but boulder. Stop giving us wrecking balls! Every um, every stage we got was has been wrecking balls today. It's the hardest one to try to get kills on. Mostly because it's really high risk to yourself. Also, I took that weirdly because you can easily fall off by getting herded there. And I didn't want to risk it. Oh, Peabody took the... Okay, we need to kill Peabody. He took the shortcut like I did. He's also chosen death by being too good. Oh, never mind. He failed. <laughs> okay, we need to front run to the sticks. And then start killing there. Everyone who's confirmed a kill. Or that we need to kill. Okay, default body we still need to kill too. He might be one of the bigger threats still too. Can I get up here already? <laughs> there we go. Okay, I made the dragon fall without it even making it look like I was attacking him. Okay, this default skin must die. He's pretending to be not good. Oh gosh, I failed. No, we're not going to be able to catch up now unless he fails somehow. No, I can't get a kill on him now. Uh, yeah, it's not worth it. We got pretty slow on the other section, so maybe it's not too good. Uh, let's go get some kills now. Uh, oh, Peabody just got by me while I was doing the Sonic kill. He didn't actually die, though, yet. Aww. Aww, Default's just kind of standing over there. Hello, Sonic. Hello, Dragon. Hey, yeah, we need to go slay the Dragon. Uh, we almost killed Sonic. Still have zero kills, though. One. Two. Well, is today just two kill day? <laughs> Can we not get past two kills? It must be two kill day today. Oh, we can still slay a dragon. It's a half dragon, but it still counts. 
Hold up, they can still slay a dragon. Hello. Goodbye. Oh no! Might have to settle for a duck. Nah, we're not gonna bother. Today's just two kill day, apparently. We're only allowed to get two kills at a time. If we could get Wrecking Ball, we could get that kill count up a lot. But yeah, that default skin's a good player. Peabody's half decent. He knows the shortcut. Um, also, that one who I keep forgetting his name is actually decent too. He's in 12 crowns currently. And I think he got second. Okay, hopes that Legend's not really worth targeting people here. You theoretically could try targeting someone, but it's not particularly effective, so we're just gonna just win quickly. Targeting people is very risky here because you're risking yourself losing. Also, once you get six points, you disappear. So there's a limit to how much you can do. Also, what on earth just happened to that panel? That was so weird. The physics that just happened there. Okay, there's a gold ring over there. Uh, let's see. What's the game plan on taking it? Do we even bother trying for it? I don't think we can make it from here. As badly as I want to go for a jump. I'm just going to wait till gold ring respawns. We're hunting for golds. Okay, for next gold. Uh, what's the easiest way to get there? We got a pan over here. I might just try going for default score at this point. It's a really annoying gold to get. Uh, I kind of want to go for this. However, as soon as that gold gets taken, the respawn might be over here. So I'm going to play this very weird and just play for the gold, it looks like. Yep, there it is. Got it. That's why you did that. <laughs> Middle strategy is so overpowered. That's why you can't really combat people. Because all the gold rings speed up so much. Especially with this small of a lobby right now. Up oh, dragon just got in. No, he couldn't slay the dragon. Uh, the other dragon, I think, just got in. Oh, they're all out. Oh, we got rid of one dragon, at least, so we didn't get to slay him ourselves. I think one dragon got in. Default skin got in. It was not actually default skin, obviously. Oh, no, all the dragons died. Never mind. Well, we technically slayed them. <laughs> Indirectly. Biggest two threats are the two all the way in top left. They've shown themselves to be biggest threat. Oh, so is that the bone guy? Did the bone guy actually make it? You gotta be kidding me. There's three threats if the bone guy made it in. Oh gosh, it's Fall Mountain. Why? Why are we cursed with this? I really hope the next week we have a game mode that has zero Fall Mountains in it. Uh, no end hammer though. So if we can front run this, we win. Please front run. Default skin, you better not grab us. Ah, uh, monkey got ahead of me. Never mind, we're still fine. Ah, uh, shortcut. Hold up. We can make it. We can make it, we can make it. <gasps> we had you cut it. Oh, yes. That's what we want to see. Sketchy. Very sketchy. I think we made it, though. Oh, we tumbled, but they got balled. No, that tumble! No, that tumble made us lose! <laughs> no, that tumble! It hurts. Oh, no, that wasn't the bone guy. It was a bunch of letters and a weird skin. That wasn't the bone guy that tried killing us. I have no clue what he's wearing, but... <laughs> he won! He's like, how do I not get targeted at all? Let me just wear the skin. He might have clicked random button. Pretty sure that might have been a random. Oh, so we still haven't gotten a night win, by the way. Well, let's keep trying. We keep losing in the weirdest ways possible. Final stage is Fall Mountain. To 11 we go. Gotta at least get a night win this stream. Oh no, I don't like Fall Mountain. It's one of my least favorite finals that isn't Tail Tech. My favorite was Jump Showdown, but now it's Hexagon, then Jump Showdown, then Fall Mountain, then the tail grabbing one. But if they ever fix Jump Showdown, it'll probably be back to my favorite.
But yeah, we can't not get a paladin when there's three. Because that will finish the DLC wins today. There's a possibility we're still getting a new tail tag course this season. They might do a medieval themed one. I'm not sure they're going to though. But they did do another Hoopsie Legends and a new egg. Conditioner's not wanting to work. Well, it is working, but it's, it's always being weird. Oh no, the sprinkle pony's not gonna make it. <laughs> Rip the sprinkle pony. Some dizzy heights. Good stage. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we have? We're pathing. Do that. Do that. Oh, I should have taken that first. Could have had a really good pathing. Path oh, we could have had perfect pathing. Path I slightly messed that up, but we're still in a decent position. Wait, did we get a fake default again? What is with all the fake defaults today? Second date, uh, second round in a row with a fake default. I wonder if it's the same guy. I didn't bother checking his number the previous time. Dude, that's very rare getting double fake default. placement this is not favorable two first places in a row now do it on the one that actually matters on the final <laughs> oh no the 10 crown's not gonna make it rip 10 crown rippity And that's a real 10 crown as well, because it's an older skin. So they couldn't have cheesed it with the past, because I don't believe it's available in the, in the bottom shop yet. Most of the ones based on the series aren't available in bottom shop. Hey, I first shoot. We haven't lost it yet today. Though RNG <laughs> can still claim us. It had on, full, uh, on um, Jump Showdown already once today. Also, we still have five Sonics in this room. I didn't realize how many Sonics we had this round. I was too distracted by default skin. I went for an immediate jump. Seemed worth it this time. Oh, went uh, until Watermelon said otherwise. Really, Watermelon? Really? Okay, we lost. The RNG has spoken. The Watermelon has claimed its kill. That was one of the most vicious Watermelon I've seen in a while. That Watermelon really wanted us dead. Okay, I'm pretty sure we lost now. That watermelon just was out for blood. It was too relentless. What is with these watermelons right now? Okay, we just died on fruit shoot. These watermelons are very overpowered right now. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. There's no way. We're over. It's over. Oh, that's what this conveyor belt looks like. Have you ever wanted to see what was underneath? 
There you go. Rip. <laughs> we actually died on first shift. But yeah, that watermelon was out for blood. <laughs> that watermelon was on us for like almost 10 seconds straight. That very first one. I got revenge for all the times we stood on the watermelon tile on uh, Memory Match. Hey, we got 60 person lobby, exactly what we want to see. Well, not really, actually, technically, you want to see as small of a lobby as possible. Actually, for the first time ever, I got a small enough lobby that it actually started with uh, Slime Climb once. It didn't go Slime Climb directly to final, but when Slime Climb, some match, and then to final. So it is technically possible you get Slime Climb as a first round, then straight to final. Uh, it'll never happen when you have a full lobby. But if it sometimes cues you into a not full lobby, which is exceedingly rare, um, you can get the Slime Climb as your first round. Well, some of disconnecting doesn't actually help because the qualification number is set at the beginning of the match. So that disconnect doesn't actually help speed things along, unfortunately. If anything, it makes things take even longer because the qualification number is the same, but the, uh, there's less people to go claim it quickly. So you normally don't want to see disconnects at the beginning of a first two stage. Unless it's an ultimate elimination stage. Which is apparently what's going to be next season. Every single stage is going to be like that, so any disconnects will have to be favorable every time. Well, so hello, boy. Welcome. Or Abby, I mean. Well, I said that extremely incorrect. <laughs> I'm just going to take a normal. I'm not going to go for a power shot. Where you have so much of a lead, I don't even think it matters. Even if someone power shots behind me, they're not going to make it. Oh, they came close, though. <laughs> they were a bit closer than I thought. Also, I wonder when we're getting Halloween skins for this game. They said they were definitely planning on doing Halloween skins. But they would have to do, like, multiple featured items to get them out soon. Because it's almost Halloween, and they haven't done a single one yet. Or at least not directly, obviously. Like, theoretically, there's so many outfits that could be used as a Halloween skin. But, you know, we haven't gotten, like, any actual Halloween skins yet. But probably in a few weeks. Who knows, maybe they'll do it so every single day we get a different Halloween skin. Like, the week of Halloween. Leading up to it. But yeah, we don't have a pumpkin skin. We don't have a ske- Oh, well, we technically have a skeleton pattern, but we don't have a skeleton skin. We don't have any ghosts. <laughs> See if they can get the rights to Pac-Man. <laughs> Highly doubt it. Um, though they got Sonic. If they can get Sonic, they can get almost anything. If they can get Sonic in their game, they can get pretty much anything in their game at this point. Almost anything's on the table. They also got Witcher. It's not out yet, though. Like, they got some pretty big names. And them getting big names is going to get other big names. Yeah, we might do a Halloween stream uh, for the channel. We'll throw a bunch of different games. We'll throw in Pikmin 3. We'll throw in uh, Animal Crossing. Though we can't do that till later in the day. Obviously, Gems of War. A little bit of Fall Guys. I'm not sure what else. We'll find something. I might make a day out of it. We'll see. Because I'm going to be doing it again on the 4th, probably for my birthday, so... Doing it that close together, I'm not sure it would work, but uh, I don't know. It might. It's far enough apart that I wouldn't be tired from one stream to the next. This is like four days apart, you know, for uh, the longer stream. It's been a while since we did a variety stream. Unless we do it for a reason, it doesn't tend to ever do that well. But if we do it for, like, a certain event, it tends to do a lot better. And Halloween and birthday would technically count as events that would probably get more. Uh, let's see. Cherry, grape, apple, cherry, grape, apple, cherry, grape, apple, banana, cherry, grape, apple, banana. I don't have any outfit, though. Cherry, grape, apple, banana, 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 cherry, grape, apple, banana. Ah, uh, banana's over there. Also, the default skin's still alive. I am skeptical. 
He's very much not a default skin. That's very obvious. Uh, banana, great banana, great banana, water cherry, 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 hello cherry. Yes, sir. Oh, no one fell. Zero deaths. Oh, there's a dragon mini slide. Why is he wearing a blue mask with that? <laughs> that was like the exact color you would not want to wear. I still haven't made up any uh, Halloween costumes for uh, uh, Animal Crossing, except for one. I did make one. That might just be my Halloween costume. Oh no, we need more. <laughs> haven't bothered. Haven't been playing as much. I haven't even checked the dailies yet today. I need to. Last few days have been horrible. Two days ago was Abel. Yesterday was uh, was uh, Leaf. Knowing my luck, we'll probably have kicks to, <laughs> and then Sahara, like every worst one. So it cycles at an even rate. Oh, so I haven't been checking for Celeste. The um, the Scorpio lamp I've been wanting for a while it comes out soon, without time travel. From a zombie scuba diver. <laughs> Yeah, I'm wearing like a vampire color and all the scuba gear. I'm using it for a different outfit, which is why I'm like that. I hope that Sonic got completely destroyed. That's why I didn't want to go early. Where's the stick? There it is. Oh yeah, did we go for kill? Did anyone pay attention to what the uh, top obstacles were? That will determine if we go for kills or if we just take it first. If it's wrecking balls, I'm literally just going for first at this point. If it's anything but wrecking rolls, we're going for every kill. I want to see five kill count today. Ah, oh, wrecking balls! No! Well, maybe we won't see it today. Gosh. We've gotten slime climb about six times today. Every single time has been wrecking balls. I'm questioning if it can even be anything but four wrecking balls now. We've gotten it so much today. And we're in. I'm just taking the first. I'm not dealing with wrecking balls again for like the sixth time in a row. That doesn't mean we can't kill default, though. He's not a real default. He's pretending. That is really good for a new player. All the Sonics are brawling it. There's literally four Sonics up there until one fell. He fell in the safe zone though, so he's still alive. All the Sonics want to finish out their skin. Every single one of them is playing just to finish it out. Actually, let me go check the viewer, or not the viewer of the stream, but the viewers for the, uh, or the amount of people playing. Uh, because I'm pretty sure it might have shot up, so people try to go for, um, um, Sonic. Let's see, how many people are trying for Sonic? Uh, oh, 28,000, still a pretty decent number. It's not too much of an increase, not compared to, like, season start. Okay, these Sonics really want to brawl it out. Are they both half, half Sonics, or is the other guy full? Uh, wait, he's a full Sonic. Never mind. Oh, he killed the half Sonic. Oh, that's brutal. He's trying to get the skin, and he killed him. <laughs> How could you? I might go straight to final, though. Never mind. You did a good job. Oh, the problem, though. You just made it an even number. There's no way of knowing on that stage anymore. This can go in 5 on 5 fall ball. Also, we have yet to have 5 on 5, or 8 fall. Anyway, we haven't had any fall ball this stream. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's one of my, it's my favorite team game. But uh, the chance of winning isn't guaranteed. Okay, right, we've got a six person uh, tiptoe. Hopefully into not fall mountain. I'd almost take a tail tag out over fall mountain at this point. We've just been seeing it so much this last week. Especially today. But as well as just this last week. Even before it was the exclusive thing in the thing. We got like five in a row during one stream. Oh, we had completely random ones. Right, what's the path here? Uh, it's too late from there. Okay. Making sure. You know what? I'm actually going to do this just so I remember. In case we need it. Okay. Well, that's more info. Oh, I grab killed him. Uh, oh, he just found it! He did! Ooh, interesting. That was a really ballsy move. I killed a full Sonic. 
How could you? I think we killed two and a half Sonics. Yep. Well, we killed three Sonics, but you know, two and a half because he's half body. One full Sonic did make it, though. Oh, so he was the bigger threat guy, too. Goblin was the first one to solve it, too, but I believe that was pure luck, not skill. <laughs> he literally just, like, was jumping all over the place. I don't think there was enough trembles for him to have gotten that through. Not. Oh, gosh, we got Royal Fumble. Though I did say I did want something other than uh, Fall Mountain. So that does mean we got every final. Oh, they did a recolor of this. This is actually the first time I've had this since uh, Season 2. That is how rare this stage has been. But they did a slight recolor. It's not much of a difference, but it is different. Thank you for your tail. I shall take it to victory, hopefully. Yeah, this is definitely recolored. There's no way that's the same. Hello. Goodbye. Or not. Ah, <laughs> uh, good old. Uh, oh yeah, let me change names on. We gotta get trackers on. We gotta get the trackers on them. Oh, his tail's gonna get got. Oh, uh, where is he? Where is he going? What's his game plan? Tail donation? Thank you. Oh, I'm about to get retaken, though. Oh, I grabbed him! I grabbed him! Latency! What is this? Game! I got a grab on him. Why you no grab? So where on earth is his tail right now? There it is. Hello, Sonic. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What? How did he tumble me? That's what he's gonna do. What are you gonna do? Can he make it? No. Gosh, too many people running into each other. Okay, we might be able to take this if we can walk up this ramp. Not get hit by a wrecking ball. Oh no, they moved the direction. Just gonna go too far to the side. Got him. Got him. Get me away from here! No! Stop grabbing me! Why? <gasps> yes! No! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Give me that win! <laughs> also, I'm starting to get my win rate up on this. We won like the last three or four um, Royal Fumbles or so. Oh, that was great. <laughs> what a weird way to win. Win's a win, though. Oh, that looks so cool. The crown on top of the knight. That's actually a pretty cool combo. I like that. Let me screenshot that. That's actually a really cool combo. Look at how well that works together. I really want to buy that crown as like a cosmetic. I get 100 crowns, go. <laughs> Even more than that. We'll get it eventually. Uh, let's go update our numbers. Also, I think we changed our outfit now. I want to get one Jester win so we can use the new emote and win. Imagine taunting with Jester emote right before winning. Uh, let's see. Final stages. But yeah, we need to go get a Jester win. In celebration of the new Jester emote. Because that would mean we got a Sonic win, a Knight win, a Dragon win, a Wizard win, and then the Jester. All in one stream. Which I believe we got a different outfit every time. Yeah, because we only got four wins. And we're about to get our fifth. Alright, let's go switch to, uh, switch to Jester. And then that will probably be the last win we'll go for. Uh, what outfit do we even go for with it? For colors, patterns. Uh, I'm looking for the other half of Jester. Where are you? Alright, there's full Jester. Now to go change our colors. Uh, problem is, like, none of the colors really work with the Jester. Oh, that kind of works, actually. You know what? That works. Okay. Do we want any kind of color to go with it? Uh, where's the knight stuff? Where's the shield? Medieval madness. Ah, that doesn't really work. Uh, Medieval Madness, that was kind of funny. That's a new one we got. Kind of Halloween-y. These starry webs. Isn't there a normal web as well? Yeah, there's starry webs and there's uh, spider webs. But this was one of the season ones. I believe this one was too. Was there no season one that fits Jester though? Uh, I'm not sure. Floral actually would look pretty cool. Hold up. Let's go floral, but change the color. Unless we're committing to this color. I'm not sure yet. 
Let's go floral, but uh, change up the color. Where's floral? We just had it. Let's go floral, but change the color. Actually, black could theoretically work if we go inverted. Ooh. I think that actually works. Let's see what it looks like in a golden color. Where's T-Rex? Ah, uh, too much gold. Is there anywhere that gold is the primary color? I don't think there is. All the golds are on secondary. Even lava has it on secondary. Yeah, we're just gonna go stick with, um... I'm gonna stick with the silver one, I think. Unless Midnight looks cooler. Oh no, I forgot. It does the in, uh, opposite color. as your main color. So the secondary color would be the main color for any one of these that we do. Would that work for any of them? Hey, what does Paragon look like with it? No. Paragon for being a legendary looks so bland. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go for... Um, we're sticking with silver, I think. Or steel, I mean. This might have been my favorite so far with it. Floral pattern with steel color from last season with uh, full jester. And with the jester emote set, obviously. Let's roll with that. Man, it actually works pretty decently. With the options we have. Nothing's going to perfectly match it. The jester uses way too many colors. Uses green, blue, red, gold. Use that same uh, silverish color that we have too on the arm plate thing. But I didn't realize floral looks so cool. I got it recently. I'm not sure what day we got it on. Who knows? Maybe we even got it today. But within the last few days, we got the floral, and it's actually a pretty solid pattern. I didn't realize how amazingly good it is. I don't even think it's that rare either. That's a really good pattern. Hey, right, let's go get our Jester win. That'll be the last win of the stream. At our 33% win rate that we need to go repair. 33% <laughs> still not bad though. Lower than normal. This whole season's win rate has been a bit lower than normal. Mostly due to Jump Showdown. And because of the high amount of, uh, um, of Fall Mountains, which are completely luck-based. Like, at least in something like um, in Royal Fumble that we just had. At least if you lose, it's your fault. Most of the time. Unless you're just being completely ambushed in a way that's literally unrecoverable. Uh, which can happen when you have six. But um, at least in that one, it's technically your fault. In something like Fall Mountain, you can play perfectly and still lose. Just by bad luck. Just your starting position alone can actually kill you before you even started. Because if every person plays perfectly and you're not in the perfect starting position, you already lost. On Fall Mountain. Unless the crown rotation is in your favor. Which is also another luck based factor. On top of everything. Also, we gotta aim up before every single line or we're not allowed to cross it. <laughs> That's Jester. Though that doesn't apply to Final Crown. Unless we have such an absurd lead where we can get away with it on Fall Mountain. But yes, we must emote. <laughs> before every single time. We must use Jester emote as Jester before every finish line or it doesn't count. Except Final. Like some Finals you wouldn't even be able to do it on. Like Jump Showdown or Hexagon. Oh yeah, when's Salty doing a stream? Is it today? Oh yeah, today's Wednesday. Wait, is today Wednesday? I'm losing track of time. Yeah, today's Wednesday. Yeah, everyone's gonna um, raid her stream saying how bad Arena is. Actually, I haven't even checked the forum. What have they been saying on the forum? That has also probably been raided with all the uh, the Arena events horrible and similar lines. I don't mind it too much. But um, it's not worth doing be uh, beyond a single cycle. Also, a uh, Jester in different colors looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if I was doing that many team games when we were in Jester earlier. But uh, Jester outfits in uh, blue is actually pretty cool. All the solid colors would probably look cool with it. Okay, let's go grab a tail. 
Thank you for your tip. Did I just steal my own ally tail? I didn't mean to. <laughs> I have no clue what happened there, but I stole a tail. Doesn't matter who it was from, but we got one. Technically, it doesn't matter who it's from. Oh gosh, just lost lead. Or not lead, but uh, our last place position. We should just donate a tail to one of my allies. Here, grab my tail. Grab my tail. Come on, team, get tails. I don't care whose tail you gotta take, just get a tail. So we don't lose. We should probably go grab Sabotage for my team. Oh, there's no team over here. Hello. Good, he grabbed one. We're in a good position. We're at seven tails now. Let's see if I can get this chicken a tail. I'm gonna follow our own. Oh, I need my own tail back. Like, I'm not gonna help the chicken now. I'm gonna focus on my own tail. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I can't anti tail him either. He trips. Thank you. Oh, I did not mean to trip there. Oh, I stole it back. No. Oh, if we lose because of that. My tail back. No. We actually did. <laughs> we actually did. When Royal fumbled then uh, died to uh, Team Tail Tech. How does that work? <laughs> How does that work? Go from winning Royal fumble right into losing Team Tail Tech. Go figure. Oh no, I think the game just hates it when we don't use bird skins. I think that's the case. All of our best win rates have been on bird skins. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> bird skins are overpowered. I assume dragon would be close enough. But uh, we're a little below 50% win rate with dragon. Definitely not above. I think it's the tails on most of the um, birds that's actually like legitimately overpowered. And I'm not even like joking in that. It makes your hitbox like kind of bigger than it really is, which is rather strategic and anti-grabby. Especially Toucan. Toucan is like the most overpowered skin probably in the game because it's not only looks bigger in the back, but also in the front. Toucan top with a uh, parrot bottom. I think it's the most overpowered skin in the game, to be honest. <laughs> because it looks so large, even though it's uh, every single skin has the same size. And it looks large in a way where it doesn't obstruct your own gameplay. But it can make it so people grab you incorrectly and other stuff like that. Because it makes your hitbox like so much huger than it really is. Like the amount of space you take up looks like it's almost two times larger. Yet it's still the same amount. Because of how much front forward and backwards it is. Because the uh, parrot uh, beak is like a whole foot forward and the uh, tail is like a whole two feet back. Has the biggest tail in the game. Uh, parrot bottom, or yeah, parrot bottom has the biggest tail in the game. As far as extended outwards on your model. It has the most backwards extension. And parrot top has the, uh, or sorry, not parrot top, toucan top. Has the furthest forward uh, extension. So I might need to switch back to that. I'm pretty sure that's the most overpowered skin in the game. Simply due to how hitboxes work. And the fact that they're all the same size, despite it looking huge. It'll also make people back away from your area. Since it makes it seem like you're staking up more area than you actually are. It'll make people move slightly more far away from your location. Yeah, we need to switch back to Alpha. Not to stream, though. We'll, uh, we'll probably run it some tomorrow. And see if my theory is actually correct. I want to see if we get over 50% win rate at the beginning of tomorrow. And our theory might be correct if we actually do. That it's actually an overpowered skin combo. <laughs> Plus it looks nice. Inverted mask. Um, toucan top and parrot bottom. Oh, 
That was a quick qualify. I wasn't even trying to kill anyone that time. We've been pretty low kill count this stream. Our highest slime climb has been two kills. So it keeps giving me Wrecking Ball slime climbs. That's the game's fault, not my own. <laughs> it's not giving any of the super easy ultra kill. Because none of the... Um, Wrecking Ball doesn't have a reset area for the top area. Like the other ones do, where it has like a whole square of no hit. So you can't properly reset when there's a Wrecking Ball. Which is the main reason why killing is so much harder there. Because your chance of... You can still try killing a bunch. But your chance of dying is so much higher. Compared to when it's not Wrecking Ball. Right, let's see if we can snipe a gold. Can you guys move? Okay, I don't see any golds. Oh gosh, I fell and didn't get the point. Massive fail. All right, we're underneath the gold. It's over there. I thought I failed that. I'm just gonna take this ramp. Actually, could I get this to gold? I don't think I can. Alright, the gold's about to respawn. I'm not even gonna go get the other point yet. In case it respawns over here. Oh! Respawned over there. Hold up. It's easily takeable. But someone's gonna get it first. Oh, he missed. Aww. Like, I need one point. So, for when we get our gold. Where's the gold at? I'm risking over here. There it is. Oh, no! I took the wrong side! No! Yes! I got it! Okay. It almost looked like he got it, but we didn't disappear because we didn't get another point yet. No! I missed! Can you please get up there? Our wind's literally just sitting there. There we go. <laughs> I thought I didn't get the five initially because we didn't win. Because normally when you take a gold, you auto win. But uh, I forgot we didn't take another point yet. You kind of need to go get six points. Uh, yes, we got a, a win as a uh, nice skin. We got it on Royal Fumble, the tail one. We took it out like the half second, last half second. We almost lost, but um, uh, he got past the herd, and then we kind of broke past the herd, and then we did a spinny plate into a win. It was a really amazing jump. We actually have about three or four wins in a row on um, on um, on Royal Fumble. My rate of Royal Fumble wins is actually absurdly high right now compared to what has been in the past. I still hate the stage, though. <laughs> Even if I get a 100% win rate on that stage, I will hate that stage, though. doesn't matter what our win rate is. But yeah, I believe the last three or four times we had Royal Fumble, we've won them all. In the past, I've had as low as like a 10% win rate, but recently we've gotten decent. Mostly because our movements have been getting a lot cleaner compared to uh, before. Because most of the times when we got it was earlier in the game, so we're still kind of new. It feels like it very rarely comes up, uh, Royal Fumble. Very, very rare. And I took Tribute. Next one's at uh, 619. Or 620, you can say. Okay, 13 left. Uh, this can go to final. It likely won't, but it can. What did we just have? We had that, so we can get um, Tiptoe or Fruit Shoot, probably. Or final. One of those three. I don't think wall guys can occur at this threshold. Oh, gosh. We got tail. Uh, ta oh, no. Six tail tail tag with 13 people. If nothing else, all these tail tags that we keep getting, I think is making me better at Royal Fumble. That's the only good thing about being spammed with tail tag. Is I think it legitimately, the amount of new tail tags that we get this, this season has actually made me better at Royal Fumble. Based on recent data, that seems to be the case. The strategy for both is vastly different, though. But you still have the same tail grabbing mechanic. And in that regard, that still carries over. But a lot of the actual strategy for the map is vastly different. Because they're not even remotely close to the same as far as map is concerned. Also, of course, you only have one tail in play rather than multiple. The minimum you have for this stage, I believe, is five. I don't think you can ever have less than five. Either four or five. I think five. If you don't have tail, why are you jumping like that if you don't have tail? How on earth did he dodge that? My tail, please. Thank you. Ah, I was still invincibility! Ah, normally I'm the one who gets trolled by that. 
No! Oh, I thought I could cut him off. And juke him out. I was mistaken. I gotta go for this. How am I not stolen on tail right now? How on earth did we get away with that? Oh, I thought he didn't have a tail. Okay, we're safe. Kind of. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Yeah! Qualified! All right, let's go to final. Let's see what we get. This is probably our final final. Final final? Oh, yeah, we haven't been doing the jester thingy. We need to go do it during the final at least once. Oh, we haven't really been getting stages where we can jester, have we? I don't think we have been. Keep getting weird stages that aren't really jesterable. Because we haven't been getting racing stages. Oh, we got hexagon. Come on, we gotta get the jester win. We gotta throw the emo at least once on this stage. Let's throw it right at the beginning. <laughs> Oh, but there's so much real estate at the beginning. Never mind. Look at that real estate. We got like 10 tiles before we even drop down. Okay, maybe we don't get the emote. <laughs> That's just too much real estate to get rid of. Sonic stole some of it, though. Let me cut him off. Oh, good. He dropped. Uh, game plan. Game plan. Render game plan in mind. What is it? <laughs> oh, gosh. He cut me off. Not nice. We cut him off properly. And now we're out of tiles. Hey, someone's still above us. We need to cut him off as well. Oh, hello. I see you've come to take in our real estate. I'm coming over here. They all dropped. No way does he make it. No! Why? Gosh, the amount of eating that's happening is way too high. I feel like going for a grab so badly here. Ah, uh, I failed. Oh, let me cut this off. Let's cut off time. You can cut them off from the rest of these tiles. Okay. Oh no, we got two other people here. And I just cut myself off. What's the other guy doing? Okay, I need to... Oh, I already lost. Okay, I need to kill everything above that other guy. So I'm going to do a really weird move and start killing these tiles. I need the guy above us to not have anything. Oh, oh there he is. Hello. <laughs> no, we both didn't make it. <laughs> Okay, I need to find where all the shadows are above us. Start cutting them off. The only problem is I have no clue what the pattern is up there, and I don't think we can tilt high enough to know. Okay, I gotta kill this guy out. Get rid of every tile. Oh gosh, he can still get over through there. Oh good, he didn't. Okay. What's the game plan here? Uh, there's still multiple people above us. There's one of them. No! No! <laughs> Did I kill him with us, at least? Ah, <laughs> oh, they still haven't fixed the tile glitch. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't fall down like that, but, um... Yeah, we somehow hit the middle of the tile. <laughs> because we went for the grab and failed. Ah, oh, what a fail. We got glitched. I think I killed the guy I grabbed, so technically successful. Though, obviously, we suicided for it. <laughs> Or suicide grabber today, apparently. Also, they both lost. The other guy won. Chicken won. It's already over. Or just chicken, sorry. Oh, wait, wait. There's another guy on top? Hold up. Never mind. Chicken hasn't won yet. This guy's gonna win. Because he can cut off the chicken. Why isn't he going for it now? Yeah, there he goes. He won. It's over. Yep, he won. He had the high grounds. Sonic wins! Inverted face Sonic. <laughs> Ah, uh, we died to glitch. That's not fair. <laughs> it's very rare that I actually die that way on this stage. But it does happen occasionally. Ah, uh, let's go update our numbers. I wonder if they're ever going to fix that at some point. They can't leave it like that forever. We gotta do something to make it work. Make the tiles thicker or something. The biggest issue is the corners where they meet. So they basically have to elongate the tiles or something. Or uh, how much space they take up. And the reason why they don't do that is it would basically make it if you go in like a corner it would hit both the tiles. It would just technically make the tiles activate slightly earlier. Unless they change the activation location. However, if they do that and make the activation of the tile smaller, 
people could maybe try jumping exactly on that tile and then auto win. Like if you can go to the exact location where standing on it won't fall. It's actually probably the first thing you should test if uh, we test when um, when uh, they ever do a hexagon rework. Like if they ever fix that, you probably want to try jumping directly on as corner of a tile as you can and see if it doesn't fall. <laughs> because if they do that, they might actually make it so you're literally invincible. Which would be an even bigger problem. <laughs> Okay, let's go Jester emote every single time. We gotta go get our Jester when gesturing each round. Except for final. We'll do it at the finish line every time on a race. the fruits. Chester time. <laughs> oh, he's gonna push me in. Oh, he still got the sound of it, though. <laughs> oh, he pushed me in. Still counts, though. That Sonic that pushed me in lost? What was he doing? <laughs> I'm not sure if that was the same Sonic. But yeah, we must jester before every finish line. And then get the jester win. They added that emote today. Oh gosh, we got hoarders for the first time. We've actually won this game before by being completely AFK. <laughs> we could try it again. I'm just going to be here for motivational support. We will win this by simply being a jester and supplying emotional support to our team. I will not leave this tile, and I will spam this the entire time. Come on, other jester. You got this. Carry us. Emotional support jester. There's no one near us to give emotional support to. Stop stealing our ball. I'm trying to win without doing anything. Except motivation. <laughs> Such a funny emote. Uh, I might need to start playing soon, though. Oh, no. I'm going to commit to the AFK. I think we got this. Our motivation will be overpowered and will lead us to victory. I'm pretty sure we can carry our team by doing this. Oh, he's lost down to zero balls, though. Team! Team! I'm losing faith in my team right now. I think we might lose. Okay, we have another one emote spamming. We definitely lost. The red team's almost playing for us right now. I'm not sure what's going on over there. No! I'm trying to help. Other guy, go play. Come on. Come on, carry us, someone. We just need one more point. Come on, we're so close. Come on, Blue, lose a point. Lose a point. No, we just lost our last point. Nope, not today. Oh. Well, there's nothing we could have done about that. <laughs> uh, team probably hates us. That was worth a shot. We got in it before. <laughs> Motivational gesture couldn't carry us. It was not strong enough. The other guy just gave up, though. If that guy was actually playing, we probably could have gotten it. <laughs> not sure what he was doing. Though, in all fairness, he probably doesn't know what we were doing either. <laughs> okay, hopefully we don't get hoarders next. If I want, if we're going to get a team game, I'd prefer one where we can actually pretty much affect if we win or not. You can in hoarders, too, but um, it's so much less impactful when you're, like, 15 people so hard to move the balls or have control over them compared to something like fall ball 
We have way more control over the ball. The next team game will help by spamming the emote. <laughs> now I'll actually help them next time. That's like the exact teammate you never want to have on your team. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Did we have uh, Yetus? I'm not sure. I don't think we did. I would normally remember. Maybe there was a random hammer. Going hammer time. Oh, we almost didn't make it through. Someone pushed us through, though. Wow, someone just flew into the air, I believe. Not because of hacks, but because of weird physics. Yep, there they are. <laughs> there they are. I knew someone flew. It's Jester time. I might lose after trying to taunt here. Oh, someone moved me in. That still counts. <laughs> we technically hit the button. <laughs> Technically, Jester emoted there. Someone just pushed us into the wind. Which is kind of a good thing, because I think we would have lost otherwise, actually. I still haven't bothered getting a surfboard win on that stage. We've gotten some slightly like it, but we've never had like a full surfboard. Where we front run, take the surfboard, and then run it all the way through. Has yet to happen. We've done like partial, but not the full thing. Oh, we got rollout. Oh, we can e uh, emote spam a lot on this stage. We need an emote into kill. Also, I should probably take out targets that we actually need to take out this time. So we have an easier final. It's one of the best stages to uh, <coughs> get rid of all the better players on. Uh, we got another Jester. We got a Sonic. Two Sonics. Okay, I'm going to go over here, taunt, and then kill someone. I'm going to taunt over here. Uh, the problem is there's no one near us. Death? Oh, nope. I moved him into the panel. <laughs> he might be marked as a grabber by the end of this stage, but I must secure the kills. Oh, we can kill the uh, cat robot. We haven't used that skin for a while. Oh, if I could have pushed him there, he would have been dead. Come on. No. Latency. And also the grab of me in the after doing a grab. <laughs> oh, that's not a kill. Oh, he's moving. Probably need to stay there a little bit. Oh, he tried going for the grab. Ooh, that's sketchy. That was sketchy. I don't think we secured a single kill. Our kill count has been so low today. We're dying too quick. Stop dying! <laughs> I can't kill you if you keep dying. Alright, we're down to 25. Still got a few good skins in play. And also, we showed ourselves partially as a grabber. Though it probably won't have much of an impact by the time we reach final. Especially after wall guys. <laughs> They'll make a new enemy off of wall guys, hopefully. We don't tend to make enemies, but you can easily get messed up by someone and be like, Oh, I'm going to kill them later on the final. Uh, you're going to have to move a tile. I don't think that right tile can reach. All right, we need a taunt before we win, too. Got to remember. Or it doesn't count as a jester win. Like, I'm just going to move this. And 
won't jump up before I get ambushed by a billion people trying to do the same. Ah, uh, nope. Okay, let's just move the tiles into place. Can someone please move the tile over? Thank you. Team player right there. You can make it from that corner. I know for sure. I'm just waiting. Ah, uh, strategy here. Uh, you can go over here. You can then go over here. You can then go over here. And I believe you can make that jump. Yes. Okay, now we just taunt before we do the thing. Aha! This is our jester wall. We got our taunting. Let's take our first. Taunt the first. We're basically shaking our butt at the end of them. <laughs> Based on what they would be seeing. That's funny. Oh, there we go. Taunt to win. Do they not realize that the path is literally already there to win? He just realized it. Until the other guy moved it. I'm not sure why they're moving it. It was already set up to win. <laughs> and now they're moving them all again. The path was already there. That's how you're really supposed to use a jester taunt. You gotta have your back towards them and then use it. <laughs> that makes it look a lot more like a taunt. First place. And we taunted at uh, every single one with Jester emote. Let's go to final. 15. Hopefully we get Jump Showdown. That'll be really easy to Jester emote on. Every other final, we'd pretty much have to omit it. I uh, actually, um, tail, uh, Royal Fumble could work too, but Royal Fumble needs six or lower. Ah, uh, extra gramble. Uh, we're going down to the 10 final. Also, this one's easy to gesture on. We'll do it towards the end, obviously. Or we'll do it on someone's pit when they're behind, if someone gets attacked. Okay, we're not yellow team, so we should be able to win. <laughs> we're not yellow team, so that's already a good start. The other guy's doing the thing wrong. I'm not sure why he's diving like that. It's not how you do it. For these, you can. But for initially putting them in, you don't do that. It is very slow. <laughs> okay, no one has a clear lead at the moment. Also, I believe we have no gold eggs, which is actually beneficial. Because that means the other team's points are mostly composed of gold eggs. Which means if one of them loses a gold egg, we're in a pretty safe position. Oh, come on, guy. I can't defend everything. I can't defend two entirely myself. Okay, it looks like yellow team lost. I still need to defend, though, because no, well, no one on my team is defending for whatever reason. Come on, team. Please defend. There's a gold egg in there now. I can't defend all this. There's only one person. Still. I want to taunt. Well, we can still taunt in our own pit, I guess. No! Someone get it! Why is there no one on defend but me? And that other guy that just came recently. I'll just watch the gold egg. Shenanigans. Yellow's obviously lost. They can steal every one of our eggs. Yep, yellow team. Someone from it already left. We saw that zero and they were like, nope. Measly one. Let's keep gesturing. There we go. Jester win. Now it's a final. Come on, we need our Jester final win today. The new emote. We've emoted every stage. Come on, give us Jump Showdown. Not only do we have a pretty decent chance of winning it, but it's so easy to Jester eat taunt on. Come on, Jump Showdown. Or Hexagon. Anything but Fall Mountain, no! <laughs> Stop giving us Fall Mountain. Oh, we need to play this legitimately. We can't taunt this one. Unless we have such an absurd lead and it's out of cycle. 
Oh, no one's going to see our taunt, though, because the hammer there. Alright, we're in okay starting position. Not my favorite, but we can make it work. As long as we're front running right side. We have a bit of a lead on front run, too, somehow. Alright, those are moving kind of quick. Shh, that was close. Okay, we're being herded so hard behind us right now. I was waiting for that ball. Now we can go through here. Good. 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 Wait for the cycle. Hits. Hits. Good. Rotation. Taunt. No! <laughs> we lost to the taunt! No! <laughs> oh, I wanted to get the taunt in. Oh, Taunt to bodied. <laughs> I seemed like we might have had enough time. Oh, uh, I would have gotten that too. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's very unfortunate. I think we're gonna have to continue it next time, though. <laughs> we almost got a ton on everyone and still won as Jester. We'll get it though. I really love this floral skin. What rarity is it? They still got another two days to go get Sonic. Though we already got Sonic. Anyone else who plays? Yeah, floral's only rare. It's like one of the best skins. For patterns. That's a really cool pattern. Good old Sonic. Can't believe they actually added Sonic. But I'm gonna go grab dinner. Oops, I accidentally just put Sonic on. Oh, sure, why not? <laughs> Let's end in the Sonic costume. Uh, let me go to normal face mask. Uh, where's normal? There we go. We're Sonic! <laughs> I still can't believe they added Sonic. But, anyways, guys, I'm gonna be heading out for now. I'm gonna grab dinner. Uh, we'll have our other stream in two hours for Gems of War. Our next Fall Guys stream will be tomorrow, because tomorrow we get a new uh, show. Uh, currently, we have a Gauntlet Showdown, and it looks like we're likely going to be getting a Slime one next time, which is going to be great, because every final will not be Fall Mountain. Uh, it should be either Jump Showdown or um, Jump Showdown or Hexagon. should be every final for this next set, if it's a Slime one. So that will be a lot of fun, because those are the two best finals in the game, and they're not Fall Mountain. So that's a great plus. <laughs> it not being Fall Mountain is an absurdly big plus. So uh, we actually get some skill-based finals then. So that should be a lot of fun. So I'll be doing that uh, pretty early tomorrow. Uh, it's the only thing I'm going to be streaming other than, you know, Gems of War at a normal time. So um, yeah, I'll probably start pretty early and go for a while, assuming I wake up early. So um, yeah, I'll we'll have a lot of fun with it. It's uh, basically the second new game mode then. Or, you know, we got our main show. We got our first, the Gauntlet one, which is the first one. And then the second one will be the one that we're getting tomorrow. Um, I really hope it is the slime one. Uh, based on the preview, it looks like it will be. However, it could be many other things. But hopefully, it's better than this one. <laughs> because Gauntlet Showdown is actually pretty bad. Due to the fact that Fall Mountain is the only final. And Fall Mountain, definitely not the best final in the game. Um, that's for sure. <laughs> but hopefully, we'll get something interesting for tomorrow. And that resets in 11 hours and 15 minutes. And obviously, we'll be back in... Uh, not that time, because it's like the middle of night. <laughs> but uh, we'll be doing a stream tomorrow for quite a while going over that. And messing around with it since uh should be kind of liven things up since um the selection of games should be much better and uh give a much better variety compared to normal well technically it's lower variety but it should be better games i think the only thing that would be bad underneath the slime one would be memory match but uh, every other one or perfect match whatever it's called uh, but every other one's pretty good it's like rollout slime climb pretty good uh jump uh not jump showdown but that would be one too but the um jump um whatever the other jumping one was called um but basically everything when they have a slime kill pit should likely be the stages so if that's the case should be a lot of fun that hasn't been confirmed yet but uh should probably be the case probably be posted on their twitter at some point maybe they'll tease it but anyways guys i'll catch you guys later thank you so much for stopping by we'll be streaming a lot tomorrow for sure for fall guys and um yeah thanks for stopping by catch you guys later goodbye everyone